Hello there, and welcome to another ODU Esports stream. I am your caster, Benjamin Draper. And I'm Haz. And we are going to be doing our Valorant game this week. This is our third stream of the week and our final one of this week. And it is going to be a quite an interesting matchup as this mm -hmm. is going to have a lot of playoff implications in our Mid-Atlantic Esports Conference. The ODU Monarchs will be facing off against Mary Washington this evening, which Mary Washington will actually be in the arena and present as both of these teams will square off as we get a look at Mary Washington themselves on the right side of our main stage. And on the left side of our main stage, we have the Monarchs themselves. So, Hash, it's going to be a great game tonight. And a win could get the Monarchs into the playoffs here. So, what are you excited for for this series? Uh, I'm just excited to see that everybody's actually here in person. Uh, not very often that we get to do LAN uh, LAN event, yeah. LAN events. I don't know. Last time we did it, it was a little bit of a blowout. It was League of Legends. Yep. I actually casted that one. Uh, I think it was it was a clean sweep 2-0. It wasn't even close, unfortunately. But this one, I'm expecting to be a lot closer as I've heard that these people or Mary Washington is actually our scrim partners. So you know, knowing that you know you practice with someone, you know their play style oh, very yeah. well. So. These guys are quite familiar with, the, uh, with one another. And the Monarchs right now, they're 2-1 and one in MAEC. Uh, that 2-1 and one has given them a chance to clinch a postseason with a win tonight. But if the Monarchs are not able to get a victory in this matchup against Mary Washington, it's not over for them yet. They can still clinch a postseason berth, but they would need some help in the meantime. But it's going to be a great game. We have three good maps on the board here. We're starting off on Icebox, which I believe the Monarchs will start on attacking. When I used to play Valorant, Icebox used to be a familiar favorite for me, but I know that as of recent, true. they've kind of made some changes with that map that people do not do not agree with. And then we got we got Lotus. We got Lotus on map number two. That's our three other three site map other than Haven in this game. So that's going to be a very interesting uh, start for the Monarchs there. I believe they'll be on the attacking side to start Lotus. So that'll be big for them to see if they can have a really strong half in that first game. And for the third game, we go to Breeze. Breeze would be map number three if we do go to map number three. And for those that are not familiar with Valorant, it is a best of three series. So first team to win two maps will be the victor in this series. So out of the three maps I've mentioned here, which which map stands out to you? Um, Definitely Lotus as, you know, a three, three uh, site map, you know, knowing that you have to watch the A and C site very closely. Yeah. And, you know, people sneak up that B site and always can get a flanker, you know, always can kill someone uh, rotating and that's just that always puts pressure on mm -hmm. the other team or normally the defending team so I would say that you know Lotus is definitely in a well I'm not too good at Valorant but with my you know experience I would say that it's definitely more probably attack sided yes but will. maybe you know hopefully our monarchs can bring that out and show that they're very you know offense heavy and, they got to be aggressive here. And the last time that I remember casting Valorant, I remember that with Lotus, they played one of the maps on Lotus. They favored B pretty well. Now, they were working A and C, don't get me wrong, but when A and C were locked down, they made the rotation over to B pretty well. So that's mm -hmm. another big thing that I want to look forward to is the rotations out of this Monarch team today because you don't want to have a slow rotation. You want to be able to try to reinforce your team when it matters when the matters need most but it's gonna be very interesting to see these two teams square off even though it is a LAN event and we're gonna see a lot of reactions from both of these squads I'm hoping to see and it's gonna be a fun event so we hope you guys will enjoy we hope you guys will tune in for this matchup as we are gonna take a short break here and we're gonna get this lobby set up making sure that we are good to go for map number one which will be Icebox as the Monarchs face off against Mary Washington stay tuned after the break folks
All right, and welcome back, folks. We had a little bit of a slight delay there. We had technical difficulties when we want when we wanted to launch the first time around, but I think we are good to go here. And you can see agents have been selected, and oh we are my. getting ready for map number one on Icebox here. And uh, oh, a quick question: um, Do you have anything to say about the the compositions from each team? Uh, as I think we do have the uh, layout actually switched up top. We'll get that fixed in just a second. Yes, but. We are on the right um, side. We Old Dominion's on the right side. Mary Washington is on the left side. But uh, looking at the comms, is there anything that just pokes out to you in specific? Because there is definitely something for me on the Old Dominion side. Um, I, I forgot what is that agent's name is. Harbor. Yes, mm -hmm. I was gonna mention that. It's kind of surprising to see Harbor as a map pick here. I'm not surprised to see the dual Vipers. Mm -hmm. Vipers is pretty good on this map. You love to see the jet duels. You're gonna see that. A lot of action there, and then you also have the Sovas. So mm -hmm. a bit of a bit of a similar layout on both teams, uh, but you could see Chamber and Harbor both being selected. And it's gonna be interesting to see what Harbor is gonna do here for Old Dominion as the Monarchs. They will be on the attacking end here, and it looks like they're gonna have a three-two split, mm -hmm. and they might be favoring B at the moment here. You can see the Viper of Mary Washington holding it down as they're, the Monarchs trying to get some info here, and it yeah. looks like the Monarchs might get into Get into B a little bit here as the Viper's starting to back off here. But that chamber is walking up, uh, coming to help, but it looks like we're already using dash and we might be committing. Uh, well, maybe not committing because we do still have that spike and spawn. You can see and the we do. hot girl trying to do something there. Yeah, who's... Actually, yeah, we've called... Uh, I think that was... Not have faith. Uh, I can't tell all the names. But we have, have faith is harbor, yes. Yeah, we have uh, four actually on B now, and we still have our KJ. We are coming up mid and fighting that, or looking at that Sova. Killjoy is going to get into an interaction with that Sova eventually, I think. And they're holding oh, it down. I didn't even know, but we actually lost our Viper. I'm just now noticing that. And you can see half faith trying to use the utils to his advantage, and you can see and the kill being there. Silva with the kill on their chamber, so a big kill for the Monarchs to get one back. Now 4-4. Four, four. He's just going to get the bomb planted. Those aren't fully committing, but that snake bite will take out one, and it seems like there's been a couple trades now. Becomes faith. Oh! Could have had a double Good there shot with the collab. Good faith, but could not. Unfortunately, could not get both kills. Jet and Silva cleaning up the job there. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of like what the Monarchs are doing there. Um, They're just trying to clean up site and trying to get that Viper off it, but I did not, like you mentioned, I did not even notice our Viper losing that gunfight early on, but nonetheless, Monarchs start off with the losing end here in this game, but still, mm -hmm. plenty of game to play here. Yeah, that is only a lot. Right. A lot we have game. ourselves quite a game here, so the Monarchs, it looks like they're still going to be favoring B-side here, and the Viper's still going to be playing Lonesome, but Chamber is there by Kitchen to reinforce pretty quickly, <laughs> and we're having some shenanigans here in the studio. <laughs> It seems like once again we have our Viper play mid while our KJ maybe lurks up A, trying to get their pick before we fully commit onto a site. But and you can see KJ and Viper. KJ's on A and Viper's playing in mid right now, and KJ might get some info. I think they're trying to see if A could be a good rotation yeah. over. I think they're trying just to show something and maybe, you know, catch them. Uh, well, there's not really a better way to say it. Catch them lacking on the B site and, you know. Not really. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Am, am I wrong? <laughs> and as we <laughs> the, the great Byron was <laughs> hanging out in studio and giving his perspective of what was going down here in this game. But no kills to account for here. 45 seconds up to play. KJ still hanging out. It's niched by himself over on A. We already but used our wall. Yeah. The wall has been put up, but I think the commitment will still be here on B as Viper and Chamber are awaiting. They're making noise. We're very good from Niche here. Though. Keep them guessing and not know where we're going as it's only Viper. And if we commit onto this B site, then it's going to yeah. come down to this first pick. Yeah. And we do put up a Viper wall up, and it seems like it's we go. we're going on the commit now. If we do plant. And there's Cats planting the bomb, and Viper trying to throw her. Is he going to get out, though? Throw the poison. Oh, gets out with get 2 away. HP. Nice. Seems like now we're just going to play some post plan. And uh, the full reinforcements are all coming here for 
Mary Washington. So we're going to see a lot of gunfights here. Let's see how things are going to shape out. Mm -hmm. You can see Util has been thrown out both ways. No kills to account for, though. Nothing yet, but it seems like they might swing on Super Hot Girls. Super Hot Girls is going to get some action here. Can he get some kills? He won't. Oh, He's going to get killed from the chamber. One snake bite down and the other uh, Silver Arrow. Oh, now it's down to 2v4. Oh, and now he's got to preserve, try to defuse, try to prevent the defuse. That's not gonna happen though. Uh -huh. Mary Washington with a nice overtake on that plant. That that took quite a while until we got our first kills. I mm -hmm. was quite, I was quite surprised there in that situation that we had not gotten the kills yet. But super hot girl trying to get the opening pick will not get that opening pick. Gets caught from mm -hmm. the chamber. And unfortunately, Mary Washington converts off of that. And they only give up one life in that situation. So their economy is still going to be pretty well done. They only give up one life in that encounter. They get the overtake. And they have the 2-0 lead here early on on the defensive side here on Icebox. Yeah, and now uh, with <clears throat> with ODU on their actual buy round and, you know, Mary Washington still on their save round, we got to really hope to get, their, uh, get the first pick here. And it seems like we're going with the same... Same thing, three on B, but actually this time we do see that there's a sofa here. Or I can't tell if that's sofa or chamber, but they please tell me you check this. Please, no. Viper please. is in that corner. Ooh, Super Hot Girl couldn't and get that, and Chamber's gonna get a kill too chamber on combat. Gets two. And just An like unfortunate, that. unfortunate pair of picks there for Mary Washington, and they have that they have the advantage here, and you can see half phase by himself. And you see that one way if he keeps. Stays here. That Viper knows they have the info. Oh, and the running gun with this, with the not Stinger. Oh, good shots from Niche though. And, and Cats gets Cats a kill gets on one. Sova too. Can Niche just, just like, like that, that? We even it up. Great shots from Niche and Cats. Yeah. Niche with a nice pair of kills there, and you can see the other two members of this Mary Washington team. They're making the, re the rotation over to B site. It seems, like but we're actually we are making a. the opposite rotation. So I do like this move. They have no idea at the moment here, and. They could really capitalize here if they can get this bomb planted pretty quickly. It's a good thing. And you Use can see me. the Viper wall being put up right now. Yeah. And no rotations are being made at the moment here. It feels like, well, it seems like now they do know, but the they good do thing. They have the info. Good thing about this is both characters. Oh, never mind. I was going to say both characters actually uh, do have Bombs lineups in post plant. And, but actually, I believe they both use their uh, uh, post plant ability, so now. They're going to have to play straight off gunfights. It's very winnable, though. It is very winnable, even. Niche and Cats have given us a chance to possibly win this round when it seemed that Mary Washington was about to take a 3 0 lead. But it's going to come down to these gunfights. Oh, Can they hold off? They did. Here we come. Oh, jumps off. We got halfway through. We got they got off. Niche is going to lose that gunfight, unfortunately. Cats is going to have to do something. Ah, uh, but couldn't get around, unfortunately. That is an unfortunate loss there for cats, but mm -hmm. Old Dominion, I, I'm liking what yes. they're doing so far, and you're gonna see the timeout Ow. being made from the Monarch. So an early timeout, there you and go. we have a minute here, so we're gonna have to Ooh, figure me. out. We're gonna have to try to figure out what we can do here on the attacking side. To me personally, I think Icebox is a little bit more of a defense uh, favorable map, and um, it's kind of showcasing that. I mean, you see that. They're, it just seems that the Monarchs are taking a little bit longer than you would want to with mm. your attacks and do that fact you're giving the opposition the time to make the rotations giving them more info as your yeah. as time is going by so I think that's what is kind of catching the Monarchs off time uh, off um, off guard off their game right now at the moment here but we're gonna have to see how they can do here I mean that is a little bit of an earlier timer than I was hoping for but mm. They need to figure something out. They don't want to go down 4-0 in this matchup. And we're just going to have to see how things are going to play out here. I mean, I did love the rotation over to A. I was hoping that they could have gotten a plant down and not use the abilities just yet mm -hmm. um, until post-plant. But like you mentioned, it came down to straight gunfights and they just weren't able to overcome. So we're going to have to see what they can do and try to conjure up here after this timeout. Very true. And one thing is, I feel like we picked more of a defensive-sided uh, or while they do have two, I forget their name, Sentinels. Well, they do have two Sentinels, uh, Mary Washington. I feel like we do, we have two Smokes, so we're playing more, you know, trying to block off areas and just uh, create space. But that is one thing I don't think every single uh, ODU player has been doing. It. As you can see there, one gets picked. Oh. Yeah, just like that. And Chamber with the op already. He has taken out Niche in the opening gunfight. 
It seems like they might full commit here to B. And if they do, it's actually a great play here as the site is. Mary Washington's kind of going in for that flank. Yeah. They're going for a three-man flank here. And you can see Viper and Chambers still on site. They're still maintaining their positions. It's going to come down to this gunfight right here. Can he get a plant down from Faith? Will the Viper swing through the wall? Or doesn't seem like they will. You got to watch out for this flank, though. Mm -hmm. Put down they a are snake creeping light. up. Seems like we have another wall, though, so we're all good. But nobody's looking at that flank, like you called. And, com and combat is going to fall to that Silver right there. And put that down. Silver's going to get another kill on Cats. They just not anticipated just that flank. That fake needs to check behind him, but he did it. And Mary Washington taking control of this game right here. They'll be able to get the defusal off in time. Mm -hmm. And they'll make it 4 nothing here. So not, a, not the ideal start the Old Dominion wanted here. But still plenty of game to play. They just need to figure out how to get into the rhythm and just try to get one round at least. They've been, a they've been able to manage to get this bomb planted, but it's just been those opening picks. And the fact that that, that flank costed them two lives, I mean, they just had no idea that the flank was coming and that Silva capitalized. Very true. I feel like one thing is as we were already, or as they were already, you know, sending like 1 8 alert uh, just to, you know, pull some attention to the other site. I feel like one thing we need to do is kind of, as we're going, or as we're committing A here, we should probably do the same exact thing, you know, send somebody B or just, you know, show presence at least as we've been doing it for the last four rounds. But it seems like we're almost going for a full commit here and kind of going fast. Uh, but, oh, there's the Killjoy. I think we're going fast A here. Oh. Barely missed a shot on that. And you can see Faze planting the bomb here, so I do like this. We're gonna get that plant down, and Nisha's gonna throw down some robots and try to help out post plant here. And no kills to account for, so. But there are two coming flank, and it's all down to, I believe, Viper. that is Viper. So, oh, Viper's and just like that. Down. Viper uh, does lose that gunfight, but now they know people are flank. But Super High Girls gets one, and hopefully, can get the two above them. Still very winnable. Probably waiting for the drop though. Doesn't know that two people are behind. Super hot girls dies to the off. And now it's all down to have faith. Oh, that shot. chamber, man. That okay. chamber is utilizing the ops mm -hmm. very well. Another post plant win for Mary Washington. That's three straight post plant wins that they've been able to overtake. So mm -hmm. Old Dominion. They're getting the attacks that they want. They're getting on site and being able to plant the bomb. They just haven't been able to capitalize with the gunfights posted. And, and that's yeah. just really been the story of this game so far. Very true. I feel like, mm, well, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just a... Because they do have alt advantage now as we just used the qu uh, Killjoy ult. But I don't think Chamber will be using his ult anytime soon. As he already does have that op in his hand. And Viper would only be using it to cut off a site. But our Viper, or our jet, actually using it we immediately. <laughs> We're going to see if that ultimate can be utilized. Mm -hmm. As Old Dominion, they're playing pretty split at the moment here. They're trying to see with KJ. I believe that's niche is going to be trying to figure out some info there on A site. Chamber has this peak with the op. He goes above him here. Please tell me, check him. Oh, and just like that, Spike Chamber gets a pick. Beat. Here comes Jet, though. Super hot girl trying to utilize the knives and see if they can get some kills. The Viper wall is up at the moment here, and Katz is going to plant the bomb. No longer has a dash, though. Can't really. He oh. will get the plant. He will get the plant down, and he'll be able to manage to get it out of there. So that Luckily was big. He does get out. Still does have a snake bite as well. Can actually play really good post plant here, as nobody's coming for the flank, so. We need a big play here from Super Hot Girl if they want to try to manage this. Already popped a nano swarm though, so not too good. But we need Super Hot Girl to, like you said, get that pick. They, she needs, to, they need to get some picks right here. Starting to defuse. There's gets one. one. Needs to There's break the wall. One. Gets two. Nice. Nobody's breaking the wall. Wow. And they defuse the bomb. Wow. What a play from Super Hot Girl, but just not able to withstand the defusal as Mary Washington. They sneakily get that round and they take the 6 0 lead if we can get a peek at scoreboard here. And as we can see, Niche leading the way with his five kills. Super Hot Girl with the five as well. Cats three.
three and five, half faith two and six, combat one and five. Unfortunately, in opposition, they've already got Viper who is in double digits. And I'm surprised. I thought the Chamber was leading the way with kills, but it's actually the Viper leading with the ten kills. Yeah. But Chamber's right there behind him at seven kills. That Chamber has been utilizing the sniper very well in this matchup so far, and it made that presence felt. As you can see, he is trying to get some mid kills. And one thing is, uh, this Viper always coming on a flank. So, like, like right here, Niche might not even know. But the Viper's right there. Gonna be behind him. Now, if the Viper was was very, very... Oh, never mind. Niche, please. Niche. Oh, no. <sighs> They're just not yeah, anticipating knows. this flank whatsoever, and Niche gets caught. But are we, we did use Harbor all... Be able to plant the spike. get the plant down, and Supergirl's gonna get caught from the the ultimate. Oh, of but jet, good but shots from Cats. But Cats takes out the jet anyway, so no Maybe more ultimate. Saw the saw the sage. Ah, oh, could not finish the kills right there. All down. Faith. Faith gets one. He knows the flank is coming. <gasps> oh, the timing. Has to watch Spike. Has to watch too much at once. Ah, oh, nice try from Faith. Nice try from Faith. The timing right there on Viper. I thought the Viper was going to catch him red-handed with that timing. That would have been crucial. Yeah. But other than that, Mary Washington commanding lead 7-0. And whew, mm. the Monarchs need to figure something out here. Yeah, I don't... To say the least. I don't know what they could really change in their game plan to really start maybe... Or to start getting some rounds on the board. Because it seems like every every play that they've gone for has had an answer. Yeah. And, and all the props to Mary Washington. They've done stellar work post-plant and being able to overtake. They've been able to get the gunfights they needed and being able to get that defuse on time. Even even in that last round, the round before the last round, they mm -hmm. got sneaky with it. They put up the Sage Wall and they got the defusal off before the Monarchs could even capitalize and they had the advantage in that round they had the picks from they super hot up. girl utilizing the jet oh and just not doing everything they could to prevent that defusable let's see what they can do here That's it is back name. on b once again and you can see Sova utilizing his ult trying to see if he can get some picks he would not get some picks so that's big for the monarchs get anything. and super, super hot girl with the opening pick there we go great shots able to get one but super hard girls, girls gets traded by the viper just like that, another kill to the Vipers uh, scoreboard. But 4v4 situation. Gonna break these, the, trying to plan. Gonna break the smoke and have faith. Kills the kills the chamber, but they raised it. They res the jet. Sorry, I'm talking a little too fast. It's getting a little hype. <laughs> Sage with the res. So that's a big. That's a big res from Mary Washington. They even it up at four piece once again. Might have to call either the rotate or just uh, use the Viper all here. You got 30 seconds 30 left seconds to play. Left. It's, it's now or never. Everybody to do something. so patient. Just kind of waiting for the other committing. person to, to commit. I think they're going to commit. They just need this opening pick here on this Viper when in the back. Walls up. Here comes Niche. Going to plant. Doesn't able to plant. And GT Cats does use the ult. And here comes the ult. Oh, but oh. that it sprays through. And another wall is up. Cats and Niche lost those gunfights right there. Comes down to Faith. Have Faith gets one. Hot girl. Oh, combat. Faith Excuse almost me. gets two. Get two. Oh, man. could not get more, unfortunately. And Faith getting all three kills that round. It's what an effort there. What an effort. You got to give effort. the props there to the Faith. He had a chance to possibly make some make some magic happen there, but mm. just could not get the final two kills in that situation. And Mary Washington, they still maintain the zero on the board with an 8-0 advantage. Mm -hmm. So Monarchs just not have have not been able to get over the hump here on the attacking side as True. we're getting close to that half uh, halftime point, which will be the 12th round. So let's see what they can do here in these final few rounds and see if they can Hopefully. build some momentum going into the defensive yeah. side. Hey, I'm looking for a 9-3 curse. That's exactly <laughs> what I'm looking for. But, you know, it just depends if we can if we can uh, take out this Viper in the chamber, since that is their really two um, main yeah, you know, problems against Viper us. Yeah, Chamber Viper over there's some shots there from Super Hot Girl. Could not finish that kill on Jet. And there's Sage Walls utilizing up. the wall. You can maybe peek past this. Oh, but did not. And probably didn't hear the wall or anticipate it. And just like that. Down one. And I don't know if. They're back in I believe that's bit. Faith. Faith might have to fight this Viper. Uh, just laying some shots down. But Faith Silva's kills the Viper. Mid. And this is. Now it's Chamber and Silva. 
Oh, that was a good pick. The only thing is, uh, ODU is kind of cornered in here. They can't leave since they're gonna have to commit the A. There's a chamber and a Sova, you know, watching behind them. Unless See, they plan to kills. swing them. It's gonna come down to this chamber and niche. He can only can take niche. he can only take one of us out. Gonna jump peek oh. it, but gets faith. And There's great niche. shots nice. from Niche. And now, just like that, it's, the three, it's a 3v3. Swinging this. Sacrifice it there. And Sova oh, with a pair of kills. No. It'll come down to now, Cats. They're going to push him. Oh, they have to. No. Jet has the info. Here comes Sova. And he gets a kill it's on Sova. One. Can he get the second on Jet? He has 15 he seconds. He has no time. Play. He has to go for the kills. No, he has no time. He'll get that. He has to go for this. He doesn't have time. He doesn't have time. He has to chase and down Jet the Jet. And Jet is running away smartly. Unfortunate. <sighs> Unfortunate. Great if shot. He got, if he could have got those shots on Jet, he could have won that round there with the shots there on Sage. Great shots from Cats, but. Great effort there from Cats. Just not able to get that final kill. Mm -hmm. Man, that is not something you would want to see there. Especially uh, going down to time. When it was very, it was very winnable, as they took out uh, Half Faith, actually got the first pick on the Viper, and taking out their, I would say Ace, but just like that, we couldn't, couldn't, unfortunately, couldn't capitalize on it too hard. But now, definitely just need to get one on the board. You did try to speak it into existence. We could have a nine-three half here, but the Monarchs they need to get one. Oh my we go. goodness, That's a Logan! Nice pick. Have faith with Beautiful the Beautiful shots pick. from Logan, but it seems like there's, he might get a res here. You gotta prevent that. And Sage, oh. my goodness. Nice shots from Sage. Didn't That's even have girl getting a trade back. Getting trade back in mid. And now we're up with numbers advantage. Four to three. And there's a push here from the Monarchs through mid. They could possibly get this Viper right here. You have to swing her. Oh, why are we swinging? Okay, you know what? They got the pair of it's kills. It's even. Viper got the pair of kills, unfortunately, but Niche will end that run as it, it'll be a 2v2 situation. They'll get the bomb planted, and you can see the two players coming through mid. I believe this is an exact, uh, which one, or not which one, this is an exact, um, it happened again. I can't think of the word, but it's the Sage and the Jet versus our Killjoy and Viper again. This happened earlier, and I believe round Cats, four. Cats, don't turn around, please. Please, they're both flanked. Cats might get caught from the flank right here. Okay, he dropped. Uh, I just don't think they expect them to be behind him, but it Look looks behind like you, please. Oh, okay, he saw him. He I believe the they might. I believe they're forfeiting the spike because it takes a little too long here, no? Yes. Yeah. I think this will they be around for the monarchs. It, they can't get out though, cause that's slow. Or oh, maybe he can. He will. Yeah, he will. He oh, does Oh, never mind. Never they don't. Mind. But round on the board. <laughs> We that's all, that's all we care about. Round is on the board. Nine to one. Nine to so one. You got to start off with one. He's nine three. He's nine three. My goodness. The nine three gods. This, this definitely could be a lot closer, but Mary Washington mm -hmm. just been able to go nine and zero, oh and all of those rounds. A lot of rounds that could have gone the Monarchs' way. They just. They just clutched up in those final gunfights, and the Monarchs just not able to get over the hump. Let's yeah. see what they can do here to try to build off of this momentum. That's the first round. Let's see if they can get number two here. And Silva's going to get some info, We're as you should see this Viper. Uh, you should I might see. run out of battery and dead. And Super Hot Girl with the, with the knives. Okay, but Niche does end up picking nice her pick. off. Going to do the same dash. You I'm surprised I haven't seen a... Um updraft onto the yellow uh yellow container from super hot girls and you can see niche utilizing oh, his old and chamber will get a kill right there might if get out get though. a plant niche is gonna get down for the plant who was the tank i believe it was the chamber i think it was a chamber but he got away yeah he got away he gets to a point where they can't really see him and now 44 situation can the monarchs win two uh back to back rounds here has to play post plant Super Hot Girl still oh, has the that's ultimate. Very bad, as I believe three of the four monarchs Here just go. got scanned there. There's one. Super Hot Girls gets one, though. Oh, oh but can't get the second. 3v3. Still takes one out of the situation. Oh, nice great kill shots. there from Niche. 2v2. Does he know where the jet is? Oh, nice. One to 2v1. And he nice. kills him in 9 2. 
combat yes! utilizing the ult to his advantage. He gets the kill, prevents the defuse, and that is back to back rounds for ODU. Hey, if we win the next one, I see it. <laughs> I see the prophecy. Believe. I believe. believe. Take we need to make one of those believe signs, put it above the door. <laughs> we gotta smack it every time. I believe. It seems like going into everybody's just gonna buy everything they can. This is the last round before the swap, so you gotta go all out for this last round here. Let's see if the Monarchs can finish off strong here. Mm -hmm. It seems like we're going fast A, actually. And it's Pac Girl. Oh, could have possibly gotten an opening pick right there. Right Almost did, but now their jet has knives. The last round is not something we wanna see. And Cat's little, in a gunfight with a little, jet. A little couple of shots, but. Cats couldn't really see his head. Oh, I thought that was ice. I thought we were lurking behind. I was like, oh my god. But fortunately, down. Looks like our attack is going to be on A, though. If four of our, or three of our members are on A, as Jet and Sage are trying to oppose that Sage. attack right there. Maybe lurking up behind here. Trying to get a couple shots, but. We got the trades going on. Have Faith and Combat Winger down. Let's see if I go get the second one. Oh, can't get the second one. And now it's all down to Niche for 1v4. Never mind, 1v5. One one five. Five. And as much as I believe in Niche, I don't think this one might be possible. Yep. Just like that, and uh, going into the second round, or second, second half. half. For those that are not familiar with Valorant, it is first team to 13 rounds, unless we have a 12 total tie, which you would have to win by two rounds going back and forth. So. Mary Washington, they only need three more rounds. The Monarchs, they need nine. Or 11, I should say. Excuse mm -hmm. me. And it's looking like... They need a strong defensive half here. They need a half like Mary Washington to display it in that first half. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they could do here on the defensive side. Like I mentioned earlier, I feel like this map is a little bit favored towards the defense. But <laughs> you can see... <laughs> You can see Super Hot Girl letting know his opinion. It seems like uh, Mary Washington's actually committing four, or maybe all, yeah, four B. Viper is gonna have his hands full here. With cats. He's gonna have his hands full. No. And Silva utilizing his drone. Uh, and we see the Viper smoke come out. And as soon as this wall goes up, we know full commit is they happening. Need a rotation. They need the rotation right now. He's gotta put this. Gotta put the. Oh, Here comes the plan. But that wall is up, definitely. Spike planted. Yep. Bomb is going to be planted here, so the Monarchs, they have the they have all the info they need. They need to overtake and try to win some gunfights here. Gonna uh, break the wall. And they already throw a snake bite down, which is very good getting that out early. But that poison orb is not something we want to see as Cat's trying to utilize the poison. Uh, it seems like Five v five. He's gonna try to get halfway. Oh. He won't be able to do so. Half uh, faith gets a kill back on their jet though. Three v four. Yeah, but combat winger goes down. Kills one. Faith gets another one. Niche. Half faith hey, gets a third. Can he finish? <gasps> oh. Oh, and he ran, ran out, out of bullets. I still don't even know if he had time though. I don't think he would have had the time regardless. If they could have gotten halfway, that would have been a chance. But an unfortunate miss there for the monarchs. They had a chance to. Get those last gunfights and maybe make it interesting and probably steal the round, but Mary Washington, they get one round closer to a victory here in map number one. I will say, have faith, has been showing, uh, has been showing out here, getting yeah. multiple rounds. If we can with peek that scoreboard plus, real quick. Three plus kills, I'd be very surprised. Never mind, Niche. So, Niche and Faith both tied up the top at 11 kills. Super Hot Girl Cats with the 9 and 7 in combat, unfortunately, with the 2 and 11 at the moment here. Opposition, they have four people in double digits. Their, mm. their last member is Sova. Getting He's close. at eight. He's getting close to double digits. So that has just been the tale of the story. You can see the difference in kills in that situation. And we just got to step it up in the second half big here. Seems like... Just kind of scope or Nice just scoping it out. See... See where they are, but Super Hot Girl has, has an angle. Oh, but immediately looked away at the last second. Gets one, though. Yeah, we'll get the plant down. Picks up the Spectre. Spike planted. Just gonna jiggle, jiggle peek this. Oh, and 
just like that. There, uh, only about one entry place that they can come from. And their sage already has res, making this a five v three, which is very unfortunate. And so many times when they would just look away at the last second. There's the shots from Cat. He loses that gunfight. Super hot girl gets a trade. One gets two. Right. Super hot girl with a big pair of kills. That's three kills in the round for super hot girl. Has to go soon though if they want to get this defuse, but I don't think they have time. Yeah, no time. No time. So Super Hot Girl is just gonna try to preserve the loadout and try to get to the next round, which next round will be match point for Mary Washington. So mm -hmm. it's not impossible, highly uh, unlikely, but it, it's not impossible. It will take a miracle. Old Dominion has to win out every round if they want to at least force overtime in this matchup. Got the win. What, 10 rounds? 10 straight rounds. They got to win 10 straight defensive rounds if they want to at least force it to the OT rounds. But it's not impossible, folks. You got to have a little bit of hope here. Mm -hmm. like, it all starts with one round. Like our harbor's name, just got to have a little bit of faith. <laughs> My Man. goodness. <laughs> Man, this is... I love that. Uh, GT Cats is going to peak this very scary peak. Uh-oh. After after shooting, missing the. Uh, missing so we'll, we'll have a bit of info there, and Katz is gonna have to back off as the commitment is on to be. It They're seems. not wasting any time whatsoever. They're making sure that they can win this in this round right here. Mm -hmm. But the one thing is, their only or Ma Mary Washington's only smokes is on the other side. Mm -hmm. It seems like they're gonna the plan plant is gonna be utilized with the safe wall. And there's jet. Great shots from super hot girls, and they we planted the swipe. Now down. Oh. Oh, oh no. Wait. Super, Super hot, hot girls girl. cleans up. Gets both. On pace for an ace right here. Now only has two. Or 20 health, but two left for Mary Washington. Three left for. Uh, Gonna have to get aggressive here. Gets the, gets the harbor wall off and breaks the dart. Gonna have to. They're gonna something. have to get out and aggressive here. Have faith. We'll get a defusal. Can he get it halfway? It's half. He's gonna Maybe get full. Does get all of it. Wow. Wow. And Super High Girls you gotta gets love the that. last one. You gotta love that for Half Faith. Yeah. Preventing the loss right there in map number one with the commitment on the defusal and they get the round. So it's not over yet. Old Dominion lives to go to another round. But it's, it's looking bad as uh, if we can hit tab real quick. I believe that our team is on, yeah, it's on a little bit worse guns. Mm -hmm. By a little bit, I mean live. They. Bulldogs, Guardians, they're not bad guns, but we have light shields. As, uh, you just can't light. overcome the Vandal. The yeah. Vandal is just too good. With full shield, it's it's definitely scary. And I believe, I mean, Cats we do have alt advantage. first one to get some info here. And they already did put wall down. Uh, you have four of your Monarchs on A. They need to make that rotation they need to quick. Now. G Cats is by himself. Can he preserve as much time as he can to prevent a... Uh, at least a plant here and give his team some time to make their rotation oh, over. It seems like it seems like Mary Washington is working uh, past the wall. Cat's got the info with the wall right there, and oh, their opposing Viper gets niche. Not peak. Super Hot Girl with the kill. Super Hot Girl's been having a phenomenal. Combat Winger last few does rounds. get a does get a kill, and Super Hot Girl's gets another one. Combat Winger gets two as well. And now Super Hot Girls and Combat Winger looking like a dynamic duo. We'll get, getting two of I apiece. love this placement from Super Hot Girls. They're getting the defusal from Half Faith and Silva utilizing the ult. They just definitely push him. Yeah, we'll like get that. the Combat kill. Combat Winger gets three. It says, I will no longer be at the bottom of the leaderboard. Thanks. And they're going to give it up. Oh, two Combat Winger. I believe that gets him his ult. It should. I believe it does. so. It does. And just like All that. Right. Still, that's back to back. I believe we actually have four out of our five ults. Never mind, we have two. Uh, but still, having that ult advantage is definitely something. Getting good. another ult under your team belt is definitely the key here. Mm -hmm. but that's back to back rounds. Old Dominion have one back to back rounds. It's not over yet. It is not. And now, uh, I believe our team has guns. So winning that round without guns is definitely good. Without a full buy. Now both teams on full buys. This is the this is the one where every both teams are at full or at all of their potential, and it seems like Super Hot Girls going on an aggressive push here. Might be able to get Saturn nice. and have Faith actually gets it before 
Super hot girl, because super hot girls can even land a shot. Big opening kill. So no wave. You still have two members on A, and you have two of them on mid right now. So Niche, I believe it is, could have his hands full with Viper and Sage coming down through mid. Mm -hmm. And one thing I would like to see out of GT Cats here is maybe, you know, as a death. Get aggressive here with yeah. the flank. Get aggressive with that flank. They were doing it to you guys. Time to, it's say. time to return the favor. But it seems like just playing the patient game and that waiting Viper's for the other still team. still watching that flank, though. Yeah. Waiting for the other team to make that move. Uh, kind of just standing in place here. I really don't mind this play style from Old Dominion, though. They know what is at stake. They lose the round, it's over with in game one. They're being very passive and making sure that... Like Mary Washington doesn't makes know he's getting worked up on mid. And Half Faith gets the Sova. Niche might get a kill here. Oh. Gets shots, doesn't finish. Niche. niche. Looks like Niche's oh, game no. might have froze or something. But now it's down to Half Faith. Already has two kills on the board this round. As Go soon as it's. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, look it. 15 seconds on the board here. They got to get aggressive, Mary Washington, if they want to try to win it here. Yeah. I don't think that's going to be the case. I don't think they have time. Might just They'll come to have faith. He's going to get into contact with no the time. chamber. He'll yep. get the kill in chamber. Nice kill. And the Super Hot Girls gets the one on the Viper mid. Nice. And have faith gets the That's a four, four piece. A four piece for have faith. Another big Let's round. Go, Another big round. That's three straight rounds for ODU. They make it 12 5. They're making it a little bit interesting here. But My still goodness. a lot of ground to cover here. Mm -hmm. And now. Mary Washington getting some ults on the board. Seems like probably going to see at least a Viper ult here to confirm some space, or take space at least. But I'm not too sure on what site they might use that on. It's looking like A right now, though. Seems like Combat Wingers thing is going to get destroyed and show that all five are A. Man, and it seems like... Mary Washington is still going fast, A. These opening picks are going to be big. But, yeah, like you said, the opening picks, it seems like it. there it is. Combat Warrior is going to use his. Oh. Can he get one? Got it. Least? Has to kill one. Gets. Oh, doesn't actually kill one. Half but Half Faith kill, does, does get one. Niche now second. getting one. Bombs even planted. Oh, nice. Half Faith getting two. Oh, my goodness. Half Faith is playing lights out right now. Oh, Death almost reversing it. And Super High Girls getting the last one. Whew. And that's three a lot of action, and that was 10, 15 seconds right there. Yeah. But Half Faith got to display that performance right now. Half Faith is having himself a game right now in these last few rounds. Eight game. 12 6. 12 6. That's four 12 in a row. 12 6. Four in a row. Super Hot Girls picking up that off while still having. And you can see the timeout is being utilized Definitely. for Mary Washington. Trying to slow that momentum. And that's something. Four straight very... rounds for this Monarchs. It was 12 to 2 at one point. It's now 12 to 6. You're seeing that Mary Washington is going to have to utilize that timeout and try to figure something out because right now, the Monarchs, they roll. have it out for them right now. They're not letting this one get away from them just yet. They are mm -hmm. going to try to battle it out as much as they can and not give up one more round. But heck of an effort. Heck of a bounce back here defensively from the Monarchs. But you would hope that they would have could they could have gotten a few more of those attacking rounds. It's definitely mm -hmm. those rounds that they when felt like we could have won but you know you could always hope that they're not in the situation that they're in right now as you know one one misplay could definitely be the end of this game yeah. but and i like i like the style that they're playing right now they're playing very passive they're making sure that mary washington makes the first mistake but the fact of the matter is the monarchs they were winning these opening gunfights right now like that was not the case in the first half whatsoever it was mary washington yeah. getting the opening picks whether it was their viper it was their chamber they were the ones letting their presence be felt on the Monarchs, and right now it's on the opposite side as the Monarchs are letting their presence be felt as Super Hot Girl, Half Faith, mm -hmm. are definitely having themselves some games. If we could check a scoreboard real quick before we get back into, into this timeout. So Super Hot Girl leading the way with 20 kills, Half Faith right there with 17. 17. Woo! And Niche right there, right? He's got the 12, oh. and Combat, he had two kills the last time we checked the scoreboard. He's got seven now. He's having himself a little bit better for a better end to this game. But still not over oh, yet. Oh, but just like that. Ooh, Chamber with the opening kill. That's not what the start you wanted. And Nice gets taken out. I don't know. The wall goes up on Old Dominion side. The push is going to be on A. Mary Washington has favored A on attacking quite well. 
Oh, and Monarchs. Super Hot Girls pops his ult. As Here comes a plant. Both Jets have popped. Or have used their ults. And now, it's... it's. It'll come down to this overtake and Old Dominion. Down to this overtake, but does anybody know that this chamber is working up mid? I don't think anybody does. Oh, have faith. This is not what we want to see. Uh, and by that, I mean not what we... We do not want to see this chamber kill all Here of us. Here comes Oh, the stage gets a kill, gets but Kama gets one back. Jet, utilizing the ult. Oh, there it is. Super kill. gets one. Oh, and it's now. over. Unfortunate. Heck of an effort there from the Monarchs, though. That was a strong end to that map number one, but they just could not overcome that disastrous start, that 9-0 start for Mary Washington. So, mm. we're going to have to look ahead to map number two, which will be on Lotus, and we talked about Lotus a little bit in the pregame. But, I mean, coming off of that, I mean, I think we are starting on the attacking side on Lotus. So, mm -hmm. and I mean, obviously you mentioned it before, Lotus is definitely attacker sided just because of the three sites. You only have two maps in this game that have three sites. You have Haven and this map. So if the Monarchs do start off on the attacking side, they need to display a really good half to make sure that they have at least a good lead going into the second half and try to just win the game in the second half off of defense. But you gotta love what you saw from the Monarchs late in that game though. Definitely coming down into the second um, part or second half of the game. I don't think anybody was expecting the Monarchs to yeah. even kind of put come back the fight with four like straight. That. Even I mean, that's just a great showing from them. But it seems like Mary Washington does have their number just a little bit. Yeah. And you know, one thing I would just point out is you know the the lurking is something that Mary Washington. The flank has been crazy. The Monarchs. Yeah. That is something they need to talk about in this intermission as we prepare for game number two. They need to watch the flank. They need somebody just to. And get a little aggressive on the flank, too. I yeah. feel like Katz could have had some opportunities where he could have gotten a pick on their Viper or their Chamber that was hanging out in mid. But we're just going to have to see how things are going to play out. I mean, obviously, that first half was disastrous for the Monarchs. But that second half was a pretty strong half for them, irregardless. I mean, we'll have to see how things are going to play out here yeah. on map number two. Because they'll have to win this one if they want to force game number three, which will be on... Uh, Breeze, and if we do get to Breeze, it'll be very interesting to see how that how that map will play out because that's just a wide open map. That is a, that's all about the long range gun shooting right now. And the fact of the matter is, I feel like Mary Washington may have the upper hand mm -hmm. with the long range gun shooting, especially with that chamber being utilized. So yeah, could be could be a tough two games here, but they need to win game two if they want to at least force it to a third. Yeah, if they want to clinch this uh, playoff spot now, yeah, they got to win this game. Or they got to at least win Lotus and then think about Breeze you yeah. know, later on. But before we uh, before we get into our game two, we're going to go to a short little break while our teams talk. Yeah, so we will be right back after this break.
all right welcome back folks it is map number two which is on lotus and we can see old dominion they will be on the right side once again and Ma uh, mary washington will be on the left side so we'll get that scoreboard situated in just a split second but anything popping out to you here we see omen is getting thrown out yeah I for cats omen. this time and we see the raise from super hot girl i see the gecko actually on the mary washington yeah. sign that's very surprising since i thought it was just community uh or like you know, understood by everyone in the community that that character is not good. <laughs> but uh, maybe there's been some changes to him that made him pretty good. But we still see I the know, chamber. Chamber on both ends of the field are going to be utilized. We see the vipers on both ends, still. rays on both ends. Actually, oh, it's very similar except for one, which is the gecko in the sky. Mm -hmm. We actually did take um, GT cats off viper, put them on omen this time. Which is very surprising is. Uh, I believe Death and Zipper for Mary Washington are actually playing the same characters. So, it's very surprising to see us switch up and, you know, move a winger from, a combat winger from a, I believe, Initiator, Sova, to a controller. And the Monarchs, they will be on the attacking side here. As we mentioned before we went to the break, that was something I was hoping that would be the case, is we will be attacking and we are going to have to see what we can do on this map because this is a three site map and if you play valorant or no valorant mm -hmm. you know that the three site maps can definitely favor the attackers just knowing because you have the extra site that defenders will have to watch you can see a split two and two on a and c and one which is the omen on b so the monarchs they're going to try to see what they can do here on c and see if they can get an opening pick and see what site is going to be available for them mm -hmm. omen setting up this one way for his uh players at a Niche is gonna get that jump peeking, but Niche, nice. good shots on Zipper. Actually, gonna kill him. Oh, we still have Combat Winger playing this uh, A side, and I believe. God, Omen. I love Sky. <laughs> Sky is one of my favorite agents in this game. I love the fact that Niche is utilizing her. Mm -hmm. We can see they're backing off C just a bit here. They might make a rotation over to A because like the, the Raze, excuse me, is by herself though. And Combat. Could get some information here. They're utilizing the smoke orb for Viper. Seems like they might actually know that they're crossing here. Or know that the OD here comes is the wall. rotating. Good. Have actually play for the door. Rotations being made from Gecko and Raze. They're both there to counter. Let's see what these gunfights are going to entail here. Here comes combat he's gonna try to get some shots he'll get the shots can he get the kill he will one, but dies to he gets traded off from gecko though now, he'll have time Eesh, good shot and but bomb will be planted gecko Cats. ends up getting super hot girls but half faith trades uh half faith trades back. saved his life right there in that situation it'll come down to their viper who's gonna be back there and cats is gonna hit and they know where it's at she can't move now she's kind of stuck and you can see like Cat is trying to utilize the util and he's trying to uh, find her and faith. faith with a strong ground there. So Monarchs, they get the opening picks. They only give up two lives in the process and they get a strong victory there. So Niche opening things up on C, gets that opening kill, gets the first pick, takes one out of the equation and then they make the rotation over to A. And you see Niche and Cats holding it down as well as Faith with a pair of kills in that round and a strong round for the Monarchs and D. So that's what you wanted to see. Coming out into map number two, knowing that they did lose that map number one, they know they need to force at least a game three here, and that's a strong start for them. Definitely. Um, seems like we're kind of going for the same play, or at yep. least a similar one. And Niche might have got the info there, and I can see the Viper's going to back off from that. So, Monarchs might have a little bit of space here to at least get towards C a little bit, but you can see the Omen's going to reinforce with viper over on c so monarchs kind of figure out what they could do on a too you have your viper and omen on the opposite side as they'll be facing off against that race who's been by herself once again and i think the rotation is going to be made here so i think they feel very comfortable going back to a once again and you can see the rotation being made from gecko through his spawn so let's see what the monarchs can do here they have the numbers let's see if they can get some picks here we are going into true blinds it it still can't enter his... Ooh, never mind. Saturn does get picked off. Oh, if Niche just shot there, might have been able to kill the... Here comes the plant, though. 
We love this. Whoa, Super hard blow to kill. Now getting healed up by Niche. Sky. They gotta watch for the flank. They gotta watch for the flank. You got two in flank coming right now. But I think the door. Oh, never mind. Watch the flank. Gets one Niche though. Gets one, and nice. have faith. I believe traded the other. Or, yeah, traded the other. So a better look at them watching flank than what we had seen in map number one. We love to see that. Yeah, four one. It's gonna come down to Omen. Omen is by himself, and he will get caught. So super hot girl. That's a pair of kills from Super Hot Girl in that round, and a strong start indeed. So Monarchs, they get the opening two rounds, and that is definitely a tone setter right there. Definitely. That is they only gave up one life in that situation too, so their yeah. economy is still boosting. If we can get a quick look at the scoreboard after two rounds here. So we could see Half Faith and Nice leading the way with their three kills, followed by Combat and Super Hot Girl with a pair of kills, and Cats. Has yet to get a kill here, but Katz has still played a pivotal role. He's still getting info and also just also putting shots on these players. They've, he's been able to get some assists yeah. as well. So let's see what they can do here. You can see the push being made to B at the moment here. I do like playing B side on this map, so I do like to play here. Mm -hmm. it seems like they're playing. Ooh, puts the wall down, but there is a smoke. Seems like as soon as they throw this omen, though, they're ready to execute. You can see some action on A2. Nice with the kill. Ooh, Nice with the kill. Nice. Utilize it. There we go. Gets the flash. And now have faith. Has to kill one here. Your pension. Can he get the faith? Oh, oh get the kill. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> get the faith. I'm. S excuse me. It seems like Nice does get the kill that Half Faith couldn't confirm. And now four v two. They could. Oh, it seems like they are. I didn't even know they planned it on B. I thought they were still looking to plan on A. Ooh, figures out that one is sitting on that A side. And now, just need to figure out where the other people are at. Uh oh. Guys, we need to kind of stop that diffuse. Guys. Oh, Gus. Guys. Oh, no. Omen, the savior for Mary Washington Ooh, with the four piece. Gets four. That is not what we want to see, unfortunately. Wow. Uh, that was very unfortunate indeed. Yeah, I feel like maybe after one dies, you you look for uh after one dies from that omen, you probably just shoot in that direction, maybe look for the trade, but maybe they're just, you know, trying to trying to or trying to secure that the spike doesn't get diffused. And he's still leading the way with this guy. And oh, Super Hot Girl with a nice pick. Great shot. Wow, the seaside. Almost open. Only they have the door. space for a moment there, but Gecko and Omen are making the rotation as we speak. Chamber still sitting in that, still sitting next to that door. Can just choose to play either B or A, whatever they want. And actually, I believe had, or B. A, uh, B and C, and I believe has a teleport set up on C. So whatever, I feel like that's a dangerous situation. Can get out, but it looks like they still want to go for this A command. Uses, he's gonna use the seekers. Gets one, but breaks the gecko. Ooh, nice kills, nice great kills. Shots from Have Faith. That was a Gets big pair of kills. Able to teleport back. And Here comes the plant. Oh. We love that. Zipper does end up killing Jesus Casto, but killing the planter. One enemy remaining. Nice Super kill for Super Hot Girl, though. The comes down to the chamber. Now, Here comes the grenade. Probably pushes him out. I don't even know if he knows about the rotate. They can rotate and hit a plant on B right now. I think he heard the door open. Yep. We gotta get a plant down here on B. There we go. 15 left to play, Chamber's gonna have to get aggressive here, and you can see Super Hot Girl gonna utilize her robot. Try to get some information here. It might, no. I was gonna say, it might reach him, but I don't think so. Now, Zipper choosing to take the uh, shortest route. Right to V. It's a 4v1. If, if Zipper's able to do this, it will be a, a miracle play. Just to walk around. Just 
to go right. It might just be save for zippers. He thinks it's not even worth it. I mean, if I go in and lose my gun, who do I gain? Just chooses to forfeit the round to the Monarchs. Moving us up. Eve. Three, one. Yeah. Strong start here. So 3-1 is your score. The Monarchs definitely need to win this. If they want to force game three, that'll be on Breeze. But niche and half faith and super hard and super hard girl, yeah. All I'm glad you corrected that because they all have five kills and they are doing dandy work right now. As cats still have not been able to get on uh, get on the board yet, but that does not really matter because they still have the two round advantage at this point. So mm -hmm. we love this. We got to keep it going though. You got to keep increasing that score as much as you can before we switch sides onto the defending side because you're seeing all the work that Mary Washington's having to do here defensively and trying to watch all three sites because Old Dominion, they've utilized all three sites already in this game. And I'm already, I've already loved that, that they've utilized the the big scale this map can really bring. And you can see combat gets away from him. Does combat take the shot? Oh. Fortunately, Zipper gets the shot first. It seems like Udi might be a little split here. Doesn't know that Beth is sitting crouching in that corner, trying to just get one before somebody else eventually holds his cross and trades him. They're making a rotation over to A, it seems, at the moment here. Checking and you, the can lurk. you can see their chamber is still in the same position he got the opening kill with. And you got Ray's reinforced with him on A, so it's still similar positions. We just gotta see if they can get some kills here. And as we say that, Raze gets the kill on Niche, unfortunately. Here comes Cass throwing out smoke. Oh my goodness, great nice shot by Cass. Nice kill from Cass, yeah. That's his first kill of the round, too. That was a big kill. Very big kill. Chooses to go B here. Half Faith has a chance. Can he get it? Oh, Ooh. great shot. <laughs> my goodness, Half Faith with a nice. But pair needs of to plant. Right Have to plant. They could possibly get it on B right here. They got to get a commit. Oh, from doesn't get it. I don't Cats. think he gets it. He's going to get it. <gasps> they will get Everybody it. Oh, my goodness. It. Oh, but get There's a chance. Can he get the kill? Cats with the kill. Cats. But Half Faith lost his life in that situation. Wait. It comes on Cats. Oh. 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 What a try, though. Definitely could have killed him if he killed him before the, the Bucky shot. Or the Bucky was able to shoot again. But, unfortunately, was blinded, so couldn't really kill him. <sighs> that is un. Lucky for the Monarchs. As Cats will do. Very, very good kill to start off. It seems like this game might be a. Ooh, excuse me. It seems like this game might be a lot closer than the last one. Oh, it's going to be long. It's going to be a long game here. I think we have our hands full with a very competitive game on both sides here. These teams, they know what's at stake, like we mentioned uh, several times already. This is playoff implication game. Monarchs can clinch a playoff spot in the MAEC with a win automatically, and they could use some help if they are to lose this series, unfortunately. And Mary Washington, they're trying to make themselves feel pretty good going into postseason as well. So, Will this blind reach? Not too sure. It's been a while since I've played Omen. Uh, it might just barely, but if Mary Washington recognizes it, moves out the way, but halfway, half faith. It's a flank here. Doesn't know the chamber. Oh, never mind. Chamber. Uh oh. The timing, though. Chamber could have gotten a oh, kill right there. Oh, and Saturn gets a shot on Super Hot Girls. And Chamber, chamber gets his kill, too. Gets his off kill. But nice GT kill Cats, Cats gets another kill. Cats is starting to feel it a little bit here. Oh, please. Chamber wow. misses the shot. Well. And now has to play a lot safer, knowing that the off is right there. Combat will get the bomb planted at least. But the. Dang. Oh, they don't break it. And now it's all down to Niche. Niche has got to protect. Niche, Niche. Oh. He'll get one. Gets one. Gets He'll get two. two. Oh, oh nice trying try. to shoot the wingman. Nice try, nice try. Nice try, Niche. If he would have killed Gecko in that situation, would the wingman be taken out of the situ uh, situation or would it still be going off? I think it would still stun him. Okay. But even then, as we've seen, Stunning him maybe, maybe doesn't matter as GT Cats hit that shot on the Gecko while he was stunned. So, maybe, but... A great use of utils from Gecko in that situation. Yeah. Nonetheless. We got ourselves a tie game now. It's 3-3. Three to three. Man, 
this could go either way, but let's see what the Monarchs can do to try to keep that momentum on their side here. Mm -hmm. Seems like they're actually choosing or electing to go A here. Oh, and GG Cats messes up the... Probably accidentally messes up the teleport. Razor comes out. It's two. Now, a 2v4 for Old Dominion. Seeing if anybody can get a pick here. Just playing that patient game. Everybody's sitting, crouching. For the William and Mary, or William and Mary, Mary Washington, I'm so sorry. Side. Now have faith watching it with the Tour de France, or Tour de, is it Tour de France? I don't know, something like that. Now, he's going to jump peek it. Oh, gets out. Gecko gets another, or gets the last two. As the Monarchs unfortunately lose another round. It seems like we're going to a timeout. Ooh, from Veer. And as you can see, I am alone. Yes. Yes, uh, Ben had to step out real quick. And he'll be right back. But, see, I was going to ask a question, but my co-host isn't here, so... Either way, I feel like we're having a definitely a better game, and it's just it's looking a lot or a lot better. It's looking um, like everybody can hit their hit their shots as Cats, Niche, and even Winger has have shown, and pretty much uh, I mean we've already known that you know have faith and Super High Girls can shoot, but you know since everybody can hit their shots, it's looking very good. But you know, Death and Zipper are definitely the two oppositions that we have to this Monarch team. That's just, unfortunately, putting putting that thorn in our side and just not able to close out the rounds. But it seems like we will be getting it back into the game very, very shortly. And by very shortly, I mean now. <sighs> Combat Winger. Gonna elect to use the same wall on A here. I believe or maybe we might mix it up. I believe probably yeah, but as I say, the same exact wall comes out. And it seems like uh, last time we we haven't had really a full A commit as it's been a rotate to A after they've already forfeited the other site. Another omen one way comes out here. Can't really just ha kind of have to wait the smoke out. You know, play this patient game. And you can see that their defense on A is getting really aggressive here with Gecko. And Raze too. Gets the flash the out. Oh, Alexa Satchel though. Gets one. Can he get what second? Play. Gets two. Super hot girls, like I already said during that, that break. Flash set it up. Don't doesn't even have to worry about hitting those shots as he's already proven himself that he can. can. Utilize the door, nice. Go through the door. Has to check if one will be a drop here. Saw he gets one. The info. Probably gonna play it back towards the inside. And Combat Winger catches the. I don't even know where they're at, actually. Uh, maybe. They're back by the respawn. Yeah. Maybe. Like in that left corner right yeah. on site right there. I believe it was just a. It might have been a spray and got the, got the pick. Viper's in the back alley at the moment, but they just gotta play time here. They don't really have to get aggressive. They gotta let Mary Washington seek them oh, out, and you can see Chamber gets the kill there on Super Hot Girl. Playing those long sight lines against this Chamber is not what we want to see, as he's just kind of holding that uh, long against uh, Have Faith. Oh, Have Faith chooses the peek. It. Oh, you, you, yeah, that's an ego peek if I've ever seen one. And time and is not going to be in their favor, so Old Dominion is going to win this game or win this round, I should say. Excuse oh, me. Tried to kill him. Unfortunate phase loses his, his loadout in that situation, but still a strong round for Old Dominion. They only give up two lives, and they look forward to try to get the lead back. Mm -hmm. and Zipper, uh, you know, have, uh, we've already seen how deadly he is, or how deadly they are with that off. So, you know, not able to take it out of their hands is definitely something that's a little unfortunate, as they will continue to hold. That work. Uh, these long sight lines on C, you know, looking past the mound and trying to just see if they can get a pick before or pick while they start. I like the aggressiveness from Old Dominion here on A. They feel they are very comfortable with that A push at the moment here and have faith. 
working. Could oh. be very sneaky about this. I don't know if you want to use that door though. That's a very loud noise. Oh, don't do it. Oh, please don't use the door. He could potentially get Omen right here if he mm. just peeks it. That's something to look out for here with Half Faith. Half Faith is in a good position. Here. He's got to watch behind him though. That that Viper could utilize that door himself. Mm -hmm. So we, it's something to take into account. But Half Faith. Half Faith can no longer use it. And now he uh, has to use the door. Can he get the kill? Ah, I could not see him. But are they and rotations are being made over from Mary Washington. Here they come. Oh, they need to get down quick. Really smart from Half Faith. Oh, never mind. I thought he was gonna choose to go. Uh, Lurk a little bit. Rotation is going to be made quickly here from Mary Washington. And the comes out from Old Dominion. Super Hawk could potentially get him. And here comes the ultimate from the opposition Viper. Oh, but here's our ultimate too. Now, going to get the plan out. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is a crazy situation right here. I will not lie to you. Nobody will be able to see for this fight. <laughs> it will be. This is going to be hectic right now. Nobody's died yet. That's the thing. Nobody's We're about to see a full-on gunfight right Please. here. Please. Hold the shoot. Just shoot. Just shoot. Oh, get sun. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He might get out of it, it though. It might be. Got out. It might be wow. time to just start spraying. Super, Super Hot Girl gets the kill, though. There's Season another one. Gets two. Oh, just shoot in their general direction, cats, please. Gets oh my Super goodness. Gets three. That's three. He's on pace for an ace. Can definitely. Has ult and nades here. I think you could save the ults. I don't think you need them. Oh, oh what shots. Just throw the nades. Yep. And now they get, get out, out of there. What a round. Nish confirming that last kill. And Nish might be able to get the. Oh, Won't be able to do so. Nice it. try, though. Wow. What a round that was. That was fun and hectic. Mm -hmm. A bunch of nobody seeing anything. <laughs> That's basically all that was. The Pretty duel much. of Ooh. Viper Ultimate. And we see another uh, timeout. I just saw in the stream that we had a timeout while I was away. But mm -hmm. now, he, now that I am back, another that timeout. is another timeout here. And that's on Mary Washington. So I believe we called the timeout earlier. Mm -hmm. And now it's our Mary Washington's timeout. So, from what... The looks of it, Monarchs, they get back-to-back -back rounds there in pretty good fashion. They win the gunfight in the last round. They keep three lives available. And then that one, I mean, that one just got crazy with the dual ults from both Vipers. But good thing Super Hot Girl was at a vantage point in that situation where they were able to get the kills and give us the advantage later on. But that Gecko Wingman could have costed right there. Very or very much could have as I believe it's done to multiple people. Yes. It wasn't just um but thankfully their GT. ult was up right there so they couldn't see it. Mm -hmm. Wow. But it's very, very, very good play. This is a good game. As this is a really good game. Very, I'm really happy that we've gotten this game because I mean it's unfortunate how game one transpired, but mm -hmm. you gotta love this fight from the monarchs getting back here and trying to make something happen. In game two here, so they can tie to pot uh, potentially force a game three. So it's things great. are looking well. We still have about, I believe, it's three more rounds here in the first half before we switch mm -hmm. sides. Let's see if the Monarchs can make it eight to four, seven to five. That's what I'm hoping for Seven's out of this first five. half. But we're just gonna have to see how things are gonna play out. As Niche can utilize the flash right off of the rip here and try to get some info on A. He's gonna utilize one more flash. Oh, Won't get anything though. And a dog. Woo. Wow. Uh, using all you using it. Kind of check that nothing is here is it's definitely interesting. As Raze is still hanging out on A though, that's where her position has been the majority of this game. Four of our ODU monarchs are actually choosing to work up. It's MB. B hitting. They B might get Viper right here. Hard. That's a great eye. There's oh, Faze with the kill. Nice. Now all they need to the, the only thing that's kind of bad about B is oh the gecko all gets nothing though. Mm -hmm. Please just shoot it up there. In that general direction. No, 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 put it back. Nice! Yes! That's it's dual kill. And just like that, it's a 4 1, and now this chamber is just getting completely collapsed on from every single. Oh, okay. Oh, no. oh, okay. Back off a of chamber. Let's chamber relax. is in his element zipper, right now. Zipper. And this is what they thrive to see. That chamber has been a force to be reckoned with, to say the least. It definitely has been on one, and now. You just got to play patiently, and you can see that he's... You got the Capsule. info now. He gets the kill, though. Oh, Super okay. Hot Girl finishes it. That Ooh. got a little too scary. I don't like that. Man. I did not like... Ooh. All the props to Super Hot Girl, though. My yeah. goodness. That ultimate gave him the difference in that in that situation. If that if that ultimate does not get the pair of kills right there, mm -hmm. I don't think Old Dominion wins that round because that chamber was also on something there. Definitely not. As 
Chamber got three out of the four in the last couple. And Super Hot Girls didn't get that timing on Chamber. Definitely could have got bad. But luckily we came out with the with the win in that round there. And it seems like one thing I would like to or would like to see from um I believe it's whoever playing whoever's playing Viper. I want to see a different wall. I mean, I know we we still uh, continue to use this A wall, yeah. even though we even if we use it or not. Uh, I want to see combat when you probably use a wall, maybe for like B or C, just, just to cut off just cut off the pathway to yeah. B right there because they've they've been utilizing that. It's, that's been Chamber's spot to be quite honest, and right where Super Hot Girls looking, that and that corner good. right there, that's where Chamber has been hanging out still, for the majority of the first half here. Still watching it just to make sure. They might. It's gonna come down to timing right here, but that Viper could potentially hit that door. That Viper is watching B though, and you can see our Chamber. I believe that's half faith. He is on a, uh, by himself on B, and I think he's in some action right now. And he had to teleport out. out. We've got a little bit of an action, oh, and there we go. Does kill Diamond? Could he get the second kill right here? Oh, they three man swung uh, Saturn there. Half eight does get the. Let's get Viper. Oh, oh no. But Combat Winger trades him. Now 3v2. Raised with the big pair of kills, though, but Combat taking him out of the equation, anyways. 3v2 in favor of the Monarchs, though. Definitely. You can see that that member, I believe that's Gecko in the very back over there. Yes, that is Gecko. He's in the back corner. Chamber's on the left side of sight here. And hey, Gecko, Gecko is going to get judge. on. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, not the judge. Here comes the uh, the bot here from Super Hot Girl. He'll get the info. Oh, He'll get that in. But that judge, I, uh, just back off of it. Here comes Chamber with that, with the op. Goodness! Oh my oh, goodness! Oh, great Woo. shots! It was great timing from uh, from everybody as they swung the swung the two with uh, I believe it was either Super Hot Girls or Niche behind them. I'm not too sure exactly who it was, but somebody ended up uh, getting another angle on them and killing the other person while half faith. Killed the chamber. So, and as you can see, super hard girl. I think it was combat in that situation. I could be wrong though. Not too sure. Look at the economy though. The economy yeah. is shot for Mary Washington at the moment here. They went full buy on this round, so they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to hope that they can win this round, so they can continue boosting that economy. Here comes a flash though. That flash did hit. Oh, I believe they, that's they chamber, already know though. he's there, and combat winger gets the kill. What a flash to open that up and get that chamber locked in the corner. Oh, oh the flank, though. Two flank. Can Combat get the kill? Oh, There's Nish a nice kill one. for Niche. Combat uh -oh. knows he's uh -oh. there. Uh oh. Okay. Wow. Super High Girls kills him. And now, they take the trade, though. It's like that 3v2. But another, another lurker working up here. Never mind. Good I'm a little surprised that opposition Rays really utilized the ult in that situation. Like, you yeah. had all the utils right there. Could have possibly gotten a kill without it, but nonetheless, I mean, that's mm. their plan. But you can see the rotation being made from the Monarchs over onto C. You can see Nish is going to utilize his wolf and try to get some information here, as I believe Omen is the only one on site. And Viper oh, lurking. Nice kill from Super Hot Girl. Unfortunate trade, though. Now 2v1, Nish versus Super Hot Girls. And Super Hot Girls nice. gets their third, I believe, making it 18 kills in the first half. And that was a strong first half right there as we would very, switch sides. So I wish for an 8-4 or a 7-5. I got the 8-4 that I wanted. And you can see that Super Hot Girl leading the way with the 18 kills. Nish following with the 10. Half Faith on the verge of double digits at 9 kills. Combat with 6. And Cats only with 3, but he's been very helpful with the Still assist and whatnot. 7 assists. So what? same as combat, he has nine assists. Mm. They've been doing all the dirty work, and everybody else has been thriving. But nonetheless, eight to four in favor of the Monarchs. A strong attacking half. Let's see if they can get five rounds defensively and close out map two here. Mm -hmm. well, one thing I will say about uh, the Mary Washington players: it seems like they've been able to shut down that Viper. As last game, their Viper was uh, top fragging. Mm -hmm. You know, had about. I think like 20, 24 kills. Something like that. Something. Top of the top of the list for sure, though. Yeah. But it was know. Chamber and Viper that took over last game. Yeah. And their Chamber is still showing that they can still do it, but it seems like we've been able to shut down the... They're getting aggressive here, though. Shut that raise is getting really aggressive. You can see Faith having to back out of that. Rotations are going to be made. We can see two in flank, though. We have, we have some action here in flank. 
by spawn and Fates is gonna hang out right there. Super hot go get the kill. He'll get one. Can he get, get two? One, He'll two. get the GT second Cats one. Kill Zipper too. My goodness, and what now, a play from Super Hot Girl. Makes that makes that 5v5 into a 5v2. Three kills in the span of five seconds right there for the monarchs. They have the advantage. They're gonna defuse oh, the bomb at another least. One, and now they have holding time. mound. They just definitely swing them. Just like that. Cats. Nice round. We're seeing how cats doesn't really look like how they're getting kills on the board. And you know, more of an assist player. Just like that, they get two kills. Super hot girl with a big play right there. Just hanging out, waiting for the right time. Gets the pair of kills right there. And Cat's adding on with the kill himself. And a big round for the Monarchs. They did not have to give up anything economy-wise. But even though that was the opening round in the first half. A definite big boost for them on the defensive side. So now they're one round closer to a victory here. And we need... The magic number is four rounds. Magic number is four, but... It's going to be a tough four rounds. Mary Washington's not going to go away lightly here. Very hard fought four rounds. As, these, or as this map is definitely, like you said, kind of excited. So. And Nice utilizing the flash. I think he might have gotten one. I don't think he did, though. But all five are there. He's going to utilize the wolf. He's going to get gonna a lot of great info see. right here. He knows one's right there. He knows at least one's. Or at least one is there. And there's three of them right there just hanging out. Man, what, Could be a lot of action right there. One character that I would love to see in this situation, Ko. Yes. Man, if he threw a knife right there, that's getting all five. They just have all the info in the oh, world. They're all stacking up right here. Cats is going to get a lot of action oh, right here. Cats. The timing right there. Here oh, Cats, the pull out your gun. Cats, pull out your gun, please. Oh, my goodness. Super Hot Girl gets one. one. Super Hot gets two. One. Almost gets three. GT Cats, Cats trades him. Back. Now. That's a trade, though. 3v2. Utilize a flash. Nice flash. He got the Viper. Choose to play there, and actually, it's a two v two. Is uh, half faith is moving a little late here. Couldn't or uh, was holding down that a site, so couldn't really help him. Well, Dominion has the man advantage here, but they just need to get that kill. It's not anymore. Combat gets caught from Omen. It'll be a two v two situation. It's no. down to Faith and Niche. Can oh. they get the? Can they prevent a plant here? Oh. Niche cannot win that. There's half Faith gets though. Half faith oh. gets one. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, Logan! Let's go! My goodness. What a play from Half Faith in that situation. Man. And they continue their winning ways. It is now 10 to 4 in favor of ODU. A strong two round start on the defensive side gives them another round closer. The magic number is now three. Magic number is three. Those, those two kills at the end. And they put them in a. Woo. Half Faith is now in double digits thanks to that play right there. Mm -hmm. 11 11 from him and Niche. Super hot girl leading the way with 22. Seems like, unfortunately, though. I mean, we've seen ODU do it before on uh, on save rounds or a bonus rounds, my bad. Um, that, you know, they've just they've been able to win these fights, but Mary Washington on full buy. It's, it's definitely going to look a little scary here as it looks like they're going to look for a commit here. See. Four of them, but Super Hot Girls and Niche gets nice. two. Nice. Oh. Playing very Niche gets another. Wow. Changing changing this buy round into a disaster for Mary Washington. You know, never want to see when you have that gun advantage on them. Give me you would the expect that they would, have the, they would have the sole advantage. Yeah. Them, but, but that's not the case at all. And now. Huge have, round so far. Have faith. Sees both of them. And I actually can hear him calling it out from out there. <laughs> that uh, we love that exclusive. Hefe, oh, Hefe kills him though. Doesn't know he's there. Oh, okay. It's, it's all down to you. Okay, he does get a gun in his favor. It's the Vandal. But I have some faith. He TP'd. I forgot. I didn't even know Omen had his ult. Okay. He's gonna plan. Now, now he knows. And uh, it'll come down to this. Can faith. Put us one round closer to a win here. Have some faith. We need all the faith in the chat oh. right now. <gasps> oh my god. I thought he had him right I there. I thought he had him too. Come on. Come on. He doesn't even know. He does not know. Oh. The angle. Oh, he knows now. You gotta, you gotta lure him out. Yep. yep. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> oh. Yep. yep. It's all good. Still has a, oh. He should have stayed looking. Yeah. 
Nice try though. Nice try from Half Faith. That was a really good situation. He made it very interesting right there, but nonetheless, Mary Washington, they finally get a round, uh, round back that they really were in dire need for. Mm -hmm. It was very unfortunate that uh, headshot through. It was like a headshot collapsed. I think it went through the wall and, you know, it dinked him because uh, I saw the, the way it, like, it, you know, it moved him. It was bad, but <sighs> it's just very, very unfortunate. But it seems like Half Faith wants to go on the. Wants to play a lot more aggressive here. It seems like Mary Washington is choosing to kind of funnel into this A side. But now they're running back. Half Faith has a beautiful angle if he just watches them. All TP's out though. I don't think he could get a kill. You can see the aggressive push on C once again. Mary Washington the favored that in the, the opening thing. round. Niche gets the kill on Zipper. Wow, very good shots from Niche. Here. Old Dominion has been stellar in her opening kills in this game so far. That's really been a big difference mm -hmm. from what we had seen in game number one. But we can see the bomb being planted at the moment. They will get it planted. There'll, there'll be a man down here though. Well, let's see what the Monarchs can do here. Can Half Faith get some info there? Super Hot Girls gets them. Nice. That's another good pick right there. That's Omen that gets taken out of the equation. The Wolf being utilized by Niche. Breaks the Gecko Flag. Now, Half Faith is going to see him. And Half Faith gets the kill. Cats also with that kill right there in Viper in the situation. He'll go halfway and give it off for Niche, who will get one closer to Ultimate, if not to the Ultimate himself already. It seems like. Half Faith is one off too, so I'm very multiple surprised ultimates that are about to be in play here. I'm very surprised Half Faith didn't just take it. Yeah. How? Actually, he it first half? I want to see how close Niche is. Niche is also one off. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. So they might be. They're just trying to set it up for yeah. maybe a potential match winning uh, round where they have the uh, ultimates and their, and their utils. So it seems we'll like see. Cats also have all. Wow. So, yeah. Uh, this is going to be very interesting to see how the last few rounds play out. Magic number is now two. And you can see Niche already utilizing his flash. I believe he got one in that situation. But it was only the Viper. Now. Yeah. It was just a Viper. And you can see the team is split on B and C at the moment here. And I believe and our, it's, it's Niche is going to get in a gunfight at B. Niche gets smoked off. Uh, he has the info. They're making rotations over. And you can see... Cats is kind of getting a little bit aggressive on A side. So I do like this play from the Monarchs. But let's see what's going to transpire with these opening kills. It's going to set the mood for the rest of this round right here. And he does get a blind right there with the flash. He has the info. That's the omen. The opposition omen is stuck in there. Unless he wants to bang that door open, which he would be meted with Cats. And you can see Cats gets TP, uh, TPs himself. So 45 left to play. No kills to account for at the moment here. Niche has info, though. Nothing yet. Here we go. Ooh, Niche with a good shot on death. Might. Wouldn't be surprised if I you. That Omen was peeking for a split second, but Niche is just going to stay behind the smoke. I like that. They're committing the B right here. I like to use all here. Oh, but Super Hot Girls gets one. Super Hot Girls gets another. And Faith gets one, and Cats gets the. Wow. Last what a one. round! What a round! Great, uh, great retake from our monarchs because they definitely niche will be on ultimate combat. Gets one closer, even though I don't think he's gonna hit the ultimate. Cat's got ultimate. Cat's got all. Faith, I believe, has ultimate. Should have. Yep. We have three ultimates on the field here for match point. Yeah. Look at that scoreboard. We got 15 from niche, 14 from Faith, super hot girl, 25. And cats one off from double digits. Can he commit? Can he get that double digits before the end? Maybe combat. Combat needs himself a three piece in this round potentially. But those eleven assists from Niche and combat. Crazy. Definitely crazy. A big bounce back game for ODU, nonetheless. Let's see if they can get one more round to nice. extend us to a map number three on Breeze. Here comes the flash, and they already know that. At least somebody is A. Or C. I always get those mag those mixed up. Mm -hmm. We do we see we see the uh two on two split at the moment here. You see two on C, one on B. Oh by spawn. My nice kill from Faith. Goodness. My gosh. Any TP's out. This guy is a monster in this game right now. And now 
Still has still has the ult. That wasn't even with the ult. That was with the Vandal. And he's probably going to take this long sight line now with the ult. They're making a rotation over to A, so they're going to commit over to A. It's going to come down to these gunfights. They do use this ult. And doesn't get anything. Super oh, hot have girl. faith. Or super hot girls. Oh, oh gets taken caught out. from a raise, though. That was just a lack of timing right there. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Super hot girl definitely had the angle, though. Comes down to a 4v4. Can Mary Washington get one back? They're going to get the bomb planted here. Oh, he would just, oh, and now it's anything but guaranteed for Mary Washington. Oh, Zipper. Zipper pushes Niche. Oh, yeah. Cats just, has the info. They're just, they're just using all their ults. I think this might just be a loss. Yeah, it's looking just a little bit lost for for uh, Old Dominion. Is. They did get a bunch of ults out from the uh, Mary Washington side. Half faith. Oh, what a turn. Yeah, it just, just has to do his best here. I wouldn't doubt half faith in this situation. I could see him overcoming a 1v3, I but it doesn't come it, down. It's just too late. And just had 6 Nice HP. kill. You yeah, can get the second one. Nice try, though. He's still got a three-piece in that round. So, Mary Washington, they stave off elimination, or at least a loss right here. So, we're going to get another timeout. And it'll be timeout from here. Old Dominion, actually. Wow. I'm actually quite surprised that we're getting a timeout out of the Monarchs in that situation. But Definitely they just want to make yeah. sure that everything is... Maybe just guaranteed. Yeah. Making sure that they're on the same page, knowing that they only need one round in this situation. So, we're going to have to see how things are going to play out here. I mean, it's been a stellar game. Yeah. Stellar game from Old Dominion. I expected Mary Washington to make a little bit of a run here in the second half on the attacking side. But that has just not been the case. Old Dominion has had Lotus on lockdown for the majority of this match. And yeah. rightfully so. I mean, they have a 25 bomb from Super Hot Girl. And then you have your three other members. I think Cass is in double digits now. But if not, he's one off of double Definitely digits. close. That was something we pointed out in game number one was the four members of Mary Washington that was already in double digits before we got into like the later three or four rounds of that second half. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you're seeing Old Dominion, they're returning the favor in this game and they do have the decisive lead here. So, I mean, 12-6, it's not impossible. It's, unlike, it's, not. it's unlikely for Mary Washington to make a run here, but who knows? There still could be plenty of game left here in game number two. That I last round is going to be tough. Yeah, that last round is definitely going to be tough. But I feel like, you know, this breeze happening is anything but inevitable at this point. Yeah. It's just one more one more. Um, I'm not a fan of that, round. to be honest. I'm not a fan of breeze that much. <laughs> but we'll see how, th how things will transpire. I just feel like Mary Washington might have a slight advantage in the long-range firing, especially with the yeah. chamber, in fact. But have faith. You got to have faith in him as well because he... He's, he's done pretty well as a chamber oh, too, but as we talk about that combo oh, with the opening kill. One. Doesn't know the oh, uh, surprisingly lives. Oh, almost kills wow. him. Wow, faith could put it away though. <laughs> nice. It. Okay, he's getting pushed from the viper, I believe. But they or chamber, oh. excuse me. But they back out now. Definitely gonna use the wolf. Two kills are needed, and Old Dominion will make will advance to a map three. Four v two. It's definitely possible. As the one thing is, they should not rotate here. As we are seeing super hot girls actually all the way A. That was a little bit confusing there, but yeah. Let's see how they're gonna I think try to regroup and overtake yeah. this. I think they're just playing patiently to wait until something happens. Blind start. I really out. don't mind it though, because they're, they're really not trying to make more mistakes than they need to. They don't want to drag yeah. this game out longer than they need to. Oh, it seems like they're going full commit onto him. Diamond gets, gets a kill though. One, no, Diamond gets two. Nice could get oh, it. Oh, Diamond Aww. gets three. Super Super girl. Girls. He clutches out. Whole press hat. Wait, I actually. The top he frag. No, he gets it. Yeah, he gets the it. The top frag ends it for the Monarchs. They, they get the victory. We're going to map three. Breeze was inevitable. A 27 bomb from Seven. Super Hot Girl. Half or uh, half faith was only off of 20 by one. Mm. What a game! What a game for this Monarch team. Look at this scoreboard. Super Hot Girl leading the way with Six 27 kills. First blood. Half faith, 19 kills. Niche, 15 kills. Combat, almost getting the double digits. Same as Cats. Mm -hmm. They were just a few kills off of double digits, but nonetheless, mm -hmm. we advance to map three. Breeze is inevitable, like you wow. just mentioned. 
it's gonna be an interesting conclusion to this series. I mean, map number one was definitely a map where Mary Washington just took it to Old Dominion duo the 9-0 start that they had in that first half. But this game, that was just like a return of the favor from Old Dominion. They yeah. just they were in complete control for the majority of that game. It got close at a point where it was 4-4 in that situation where I took a, my leave. But when we came back, when I it came was, back from the little break, it was a totally different story. And yeah. Old Dominion, it closed it out pretty decisively. The momentum definitely shifted in the Monarchs' favor. As, you know, they following that timeout. Following that timeout, I don't know what Veer said to them, but yeah. it must have been some very inspirational words to make them play like that as we actually reversed 13-6 then. Yeah. And, you know, that's just something that you love to see. But now, we got to see who break the tie. We go to Breeze. It is the biggest map in this game, I believe. It's the most it's the most wide open map there is in Valorant. So, mm -hmm. we're going to have to see how things are going to play out. I I will say I am a fan of B-Side. I believe B-Side is that open, that open area with the big column in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. That's my favorite site on this map. I like. I want to see how the action is going to play out in there because of how wide open it is. But also, you have you have some cheeky little angles in that yeah. area. So, I'm very interested to see how the action is going to play out on B-Side because I feel like on B-Side, there's a lot more action than you would see on A. So, we're going to have to see how things are going to play out. Definitely. So... And also mid lane. We haven't even talked about the mid lane control. Yeah. I feel like it's going to be a battle of the chambers in mid lane. Definitely. And seeing who can have the upper hand of making a push there. So it's going to be very interesting to see how these things play out. But we're going to have to take a break here. We're going to have to get this lobby set up and get ready for a very entertaining game number three. Mary Washington wins game one decisively. Old Dominion wins game two decisively. Comes down to Breeze on map number three. Who is going to be the victor this evening? We will see right after the break. We hope you have been enjoying.
And here we are going for game three. Unfortunately, we switched up again, but we do see some new faces here. Actually seeing a Cypher on both sides as well as a KO, which, let's go KO! Sorry, I play KO in this game. I, I love that character with a passion. And I'm very, very happy to see Niche playing him. Combat Winger back on the Sova. Have faith on Cypher now. GT Cats. I believe back on the Viper and Super Hot Girls back on the Jet. Wow, Saturn. Diamond. Oh, no, I see a KO. Yep, I already got happy. <laughs> I already got so excited. I was so excited to see Niche on uh, KO. But we will oh, that's us, okay. I yeah. Would, we have to switch sides we again. We have to scoreboard. switch sides again. It's very, very weird. But this time we will be defending first, which uh, is going to be very interesting, as you can see in that top left. 
Yeah, we got a Cypher on actually both sides. Did not know Cypher was good on this map, but uh, apparently he is. Cypher is pretty well is pretty well on this map. I do like this move. Mm -hmm. Who is Cypher? It's Faith. Okay. It's Faith, and I believe it's uh, the combat is Sova. Yeah. Super hot jet. That's not a surprise. Cats back to Viper. Love that. And Niche. That KO could be an underrated pick here from Niche. We're gonna have to see how it's gonna be played out, though. I'm yeah, quite surprised true. this is the first time we're getting introduced to a KO in this series. I would have thought KO would have been a member that could have been utilized in that last map, but mm -hmm. nonetheless, didn't even need it as Cat. Oh, Super Hard Girls already gets the pick early. And you can see the on commitment the over to A at the moment. The see dash the from Jet, and now Cat has to play. Niche also has to slow down a little bit. Niche could get the kill. He mm. won't. G Cats will get the will get a trade back on the jet. And but he'll Zipper lose his kills Cats, but Combat Winger kills Zipper. Yes. And Super Hot Girls gets the pick. The now, one tap. down to that last person. It is being the Viper. Dead. The Viper, who was the MVP, uh, one of the MVPs in that first matchup. Let's see if they can try to rebound from that slow second game they had. Mm. And Super Hot Girl yeah. kind of just walking them down in half face. Hey. Also there, there's the util. Oh. Cannot finish off the kill there for Super Hot Girl, unfortunately. Oh, Here comes Faith, though. Messed up the... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. And Viper gets another kill on Faith. It'll come down to combat. Can combat... Has the health advantage. So definitely can win this fight, but playing Jets this a little slow... HP. Okay. I don't think he knows that he's rapping, though. Oh, he wrapping you. Oh, he wrapped you. Oh, oh he wrapped you. He wrapped you. It's over. Unfortunately. Never mind. Wow. Never mind. Very wow. interesting play from Death. Wow. I would have thought that they would have. I know. thought he was wrapping him to yeah. get the kill and not trying to rotate out. Yeah. I'm kind of confused about that uh, decision, but thankfully it was not on us. It yeah. was on them. So that was their mistake, and that was a costly mistake, too, because it seemed like Mary Washington could have had the 1-0 advantage here because definitely there around the it just there. did not seem that Cats had any idea whatsoever yeah. that the rotation, or at least the wraparound was being made, I should say. Nonetheless, good start for Old Dominion. And oh, Super Hot and Super Hot Girl's already Woo. starting off super hot. Uh, Love that. <laughs> gets the kill on the Sova. And now, looking for another. Uh, I'm surprised no, that. Peak. I'm not surprised they're not going to peek it. Well, I'm surprised that the scan didn't pop up. That like too. It didn't show how many people got scanned. Because at, at least one had to get scanned from that. They were all kind of grouped up in that mm -hmm. a, a spot. But now it looks and like. And they're utilizing the tunnel area where combat is going to be greeted by combat multiple still, members. Still jump peeking that. Another jump peek. We'll Please see all four. Please bring the gun out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're making their way up. Combat. Combat. Put the gun out. <laughs> Just like that, they're going to pick up a Spectre. And all four worked up behind mm -hmm. them. But we have somebody behind them even then. And uh, have it's faith. Cypher, it's have faith. With the Bulldog. Okay. Bulldog is underrated. A very underrated gun. It gets one. But the camera is down. Hey, you gotta turn around, you gotta turn around, you gotta turn around, 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 turn around. We see our Viper and KO. Oh, thank you. There's one. There's one from Faith. You got three members on site already. What are you guys gonna do to try to overtake that? Niche is gonna get in the gunfire right here. I like that. Beautiful Molly. Nice. Kills him. It's super hot girl uh, gets credited with the kill, unfortunately. Half faith oh, right there. Half faith nice. gets one, gets two, or nice. gets three. Ooh, That's a that three a kill round for half faith, but a nice pair of kills in that situation to win the round. So now it is 2 0 in favor of Old Dominion. They had it, they had to overtake on that situation, mm. but still. Only gave up one life in that situation. It was combat, unfortunately. Combat got caught with his pants down in mm -hmm. tunnel there and just was not anticipating a full on push from four members of Mary Washington. Mm -hmm. Still. Very, very true. He's still giving the info that he <laughs> that they needed at a willing sacrifice, nonetheless. But half faith, throwing down utils and making sure he has B on lockdown here. Love this. Cypher can be so annoying, but if if he's on your team, if he's on your team, he's great. He's great, but opposite teams. Oh, here we go. Oh my, oh my God. goodness. Oh my. <laughs> oh my goodness. Super hot is very hot right now. Jesus. And man. I actually want to see him rotate to this A side so he can get another one. But, unfortunately, I, I doubt it. 
But uh, the full I'll commit is over to A side since yeah. that opening pick. And now getting a rotate. Gonna throw out that uh or needs to gonna throw out that flash now. Oh, but gets one. It's higher. Whew. Gets both that were on that site and now combat winger gonna just regroup with regroup with his team so he can get a three v four push out. And a hey, numbers advantage is always better. Especially in a in a game like this. You're able to get trades and hope and pray that somebody can win that gunfight. Standing ahead. Bouncing. Oh. I'm trying to get some info oh, with this Oh, but dart. gets one. Scans the sofa. He did get the one there. He's gonna try to utilize his oh, but his shock dart. Get one. Oh, get one. oh, great shot from Super Hydro. But the numbers were too much. Too many numbers. That was a good run for Mary Washington. They give up the opening kill to Super Hot and crazy fashion. I mean, that was a crazy kill from Super Hot Girl. Mm -hmm. But they locked down on A, and that was just unfortunate for the Monarchs because they were just very late on rotation there. And it gave Mary Washington a lot of space to get those kills, those opening kills, and just, just plant the bomb, lock it down. And that's what they did. So Mary Washington mm -hmm. gets on the board here, and it's 2-1. to one. Still up, but I wonder, they're still sitting in this. Oh, very smart for Mary Washington to wait until the knife comes out. Need to see some uh, adaptation from Niche. To maybe throw that knife a little later. But now, they don't, I don't think they know that they're working up A again. Well, now they do, especially now that they see that. The ultimate could be used right oh, here for Super Hot. Super Hot gets one, gets two! Oh, oh, almost gets man. three. If he could have gotten a three, that would have been big. Still a big play overall. They got the man advantage still. Mm -hmm. If Nisha just watch that angle where the, I believe Jet's trying to cross. Or no, that's Cypher. Or no, that's Viper. Oh my goodness. I was just completely off. No. You can see Sova making a rotation over to B side here. It's Faith by himself over, over there and it's Cypher as well. He's going to mid. He's lurking. Trying to figure out if anybody is peeking up on top of heaven there. Not going to find anybody. Half Faith is still on Faith B. still on B. And now he knows his camera just got shot. He knows somebody's there. He's got the info. And they're making a rotation as it seems so. With 20 seconds left, there's only uh, there's only one thing that Mary Washington can do. Yeah. Yep. You gotta see, you gotta <laughs> let them rotate though. 50 seconds to go here. Half Faith is gonna have to lock down the final 10 seconds ten here. Seconds left. Have to, oh, can't stop the plan, unfortunately. And now Five Niche gets picked off. That was a late rotation, oh, unfortunately. Yes. And now Cypher gets another kill. Cypher gets another. Oh, Faith could get it. Faith. Oh, wrapping behind them. Doesn't know. They don't know. Wow. Oh, great oh, shots. Wow. Oh, great wrap. Oh, oh they don't no. know. While they were rapping, they were also getting rapped. And just, yeah, it, it just shows how, uh, how positioning just. The timing too. Yeah, positioning and timing is just so important. It's so crucial like in this game. And just like that, just like starting off in game two, very close, even in rounds uh, early. Those rot rotations have to be done fast as well. Yeah. Especially when there was like 20, 30 seconds left in the round. They should have known that the rotation should have been made right there. But unfortunate timing has been killer in those last two rounds. And Mary Washington has capitalized off of it. Super oh. Hot Girl leading the way with eight kills already. So a pretty strong start from Super Hot Girl. Once oh again, he might goodness. get a Cypher kill oh, here. Returned. He could still possibly get this kill though. Maybe. I think Cypher is going to lock down right there. I think he's going to hold that angle. Probably. But working up mid here can definitely see at least someone. Maybe he's a cypher when he chooses to cross or go back with his team. Super hot girls in dangerous territory right now. Very, very dangerous. I don't know if you see in that top left map. Cypher, cypher turned were to turn, turn to the right. Actually, I don't even know if he could see him. Mm, cypher did not, but he is making his way through mid with the rest of his team. Spike planted. As well. Or he's just sitting put right there. Oh my goodness. Super hot girl's gonna get caught. Oh. Uh oh. Nothing and happened. he does not. Wow. He lives. Now. That Cypher missed his shot on Super Hot Girl, unfortunately, and oh. that's going to be costly, maybe. Half Faith is going to lock down right here and could... Can he hit the shot? Can he? <gasps> no! I know. 
the timing. He turned away. The timing is so unfortunate. And now, it's so only a matter of time. And there's Zipper with Mary this kill. Washington has actually just They've knows where they momentum. are. And now he's uh, super hot. He's just going to get chased down. Most likely, uh, trying to kill him for the op. The momentum has shifted in this game. Yeah. Opening two rounds for Old Dominions. The last three have been Mary Washington. Yeah. Um, and I am not surprised is. we're going to see a timeout right here. The Monarchs, they had a strong start to this game, but they've given up the last three rounds. Oh. Oh, my goodness. What in wow. the world? <laughs> that is. What is going on? You know what? I kind of like it. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know what the heck this transpired right there, but. Mm. Jeez. Anyways, I mean, back to our point. Kind of lost the train of thought. I mean, they gave up the last three rounds. Yeah. And this is a much-needed timeout. I, I like this timeout. Even mm -hmm. though, I mean, they called the timeout in the first game very early. And that second game, I wasn't here for it. I yeah. mean, I think this was a very... I think this is a very well-timed timeout just because of the fact that you've given up three straight. You don't want to get... You don't want things to get out of hand now because you've, ha you've played a pretty good game so far. It's just... Timing. Timing has been killer in this game. Like, especially yeah. with have faith in that situation. Have faith could have taken Cypher out of that situation, picked up his Vandal, could have possibly gunned out one of the other members on B, and maybe could have made it interesting. But he turns away. He At tries to go. Second. He go, he tries to go through that Viper wall, and it cost him. So we are gonna be in for quite a long match. It seems here, <laughs> by the looks of it, at the moment. We might be seeing extra rounds instead of our first 13 mark, but we are going to see because there is still plenty of game to play. Still so much game to play as another aggressive uh, take from Super Hot Girl. Oh, once again, this I'm gonna have to forfeit that angle as they were just kind of shooting or looking at him. So now. What can they do? You can see Chambers hanging out in a little tunnel there by A side. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Nobody's there to contest them. You can see Cypher's moving up through mid. You got two members still back by their spawn. I think they're still trying to make up their mind what side they want to go to. I think A might be their favorite Standing destination oh. here. And you can see Silva going to try to use his recon. I uh, actually wonder where that landed. I, that landed t I think that landed towards the tunnels in B. Yeah. Kind of a weird placement, though, but nonetheless, I mean, mm -hmm. it's not our placement. Yeah, I see. And that he's gets one. Oh, wow. He might be able to pick the Cypher off if Cypher... Oh, off. turns away again. And through the through the uh, nade a little early. 30 seconds left to but play here. Could get a pick here. Oh, Super Hot Girls moves his hand. Combat gets a trade back on her chamber, though. Gonna have to look there. Oh, no. Okay, wait. Switch his guns. Nice. Able to clean it up. That was oh. big. Oh, but Saturn gets him. Oh, man. It'll come down to a 3v3. Can a Monarchs find a way to get a victory here? 3v3, but very disadvantage or an in disadvantage as that uh, Viper ult will be just controlling that space and, s space and slowly tickling away their HP with that decay. Oh, but a great all from Have Faith here. Pushing through the vulnerable. Knows where she is. Oh my goodness. Oh! Okay, There's gets one. one. Does not get the other. Get the one. Gets traded though. And now has ult. Someone. Someone has got to get on that bomb. Okay, he showed him. Has Someone's no got to come in. I don't know if he has any time. Yeah. Can't really do much about that, unfortunately. I was still under the instance we still had a 2v1 situation, but he got caught in that ultimate, unfortunately. So that was my yeah. mistake. But I was mentioning someone should commit and the others just got to protect, but that was not even the case. It was a 1v1 situation in combat. Just not able to overcome that Sova. Sova was just playing pretty well right there, but still. Super Hot Girl, 9 kills, half faith, following behind him with his 5 kills. Combat with 4, cast with 2, and unfortunately, niche. Off of the board with zero at the moment but here. He does have those four assists. So he has been helping out, but doesn't like to see that donut go off the board mm -hmm. very soon here because they're gonna need his help. They're gonna need all the help they can get. They wanna try to overcome Mary Washington who has won four rounds straight in this one so far. 
And now we're on a save round here. Is I believe either everybody has a sheriff or and then either it's just a matter if we can get some early picks and try to get some weapons up off the ground, but that's just not the case at the moment. No kills to account for. Mm -hmm. It seems like they're very spaced out right now. Yeah, very. And I think and that's on the part of Mary Washington. Oh, but does. Do they know that this cypher is working up in tunnels of A side? And they shoot the tripwire. So now, Half Faith has to know, right? Because they shot something. Chamber is on B. Cats might catch him. Oh, Super Hot Girl almost did. Cats well. might get him. Wait, it's Super Hot Girl does, but uh, Zipper actually kills Cats. That's unfortunate. Uh, back on B, but Niche kills Saturn, and now they're getting they got guns. Some weapons. They got some weapons. The bombs will be planted. There's still plenty of time. It's a 4v4 situation, or 4v2 situation. 4v2 oh now. Oh my goodness, great shots, Niche. What a big round this has been for a save round this was. Oh, but Diamond's gonna kill. Dom's oh, gonna get wow. two. And I don't think they know that the chamber's behind him. They don't. Yep. Combat. Oh, Zipper is gonna get Niche. He'll come down to combat and Niche. Gotta combat. push him, you gotta push him. Okay, nice. behind. Oh, nice almost. Damn. Oh. That's unfortunate. Most. Wow. That was a great play, though. I mean, he, he tried his best. That was just unfortunate that Diamond, the Sova on the opposite team, got that pair of kills on Half Faith, and I believe it was Catch right there in that situation. That was a big momentum shift in that round because the Monarchs, they had the 4v2 situation and those pair of kills changed it up for them. So now they give up five straight rounds after getting the first two rounds in this game and they just have not had an answer from Mary Washington as of late. And they're considering making a full commitment to be at the moment here as Cats and Faith will be the Lone Rangers that will try to defend it as best as they can while the rest of her team might be lurking for a flank. You can see the flank going on with KO and Super Hot Girl. I believe KO is it's niche. And you have combat in the middle playing by heaven. And you can see Cats is going to have the information. Here they come with the commitment. Spraying at him, but can still Faith help alive out? somehow. Faith gets one. Faith gets oh. two. Oh my goodness. There's oh three. Oh my goodness. Come on, Logan. Come on. He won't get the ace. Cats got that fourth kill, but still hell of a play from half Faith. Great in that shots. Situation. And I don't know. If he knows, but he's behind him. Oh, and Cat wow. cleans him up. What, what a round. A, what a master class from Cats what and round. Have Faith. Clean, able to take all five when they execute on that B site. It was a 5v2 in that situation, and they held the fort down. Have Faith, I'm so surprised he was alive in that situation. Because yeah. he was such an open lane position right there. He made it known that all of those members were right there, but he still he stood in the heart of all that fire and open lane. He gets the three kills assisted by cats and yeah. they win this round so that was a big round for the monarchs they needed that round desperately to try to get a little bit of rhythm back on their side and it is now a 5-3 disadvantage for mary washington so let's see what the monarchs can do to make it a one deficit round game this time it seems like mary washington is choosing to work up mid this time as this is their first time doing this but odu also playing very aggressive i don't know if you see on the a side uh they're both goes down and so does super hot girl and now just full execute on a and very smart from mary washington just to kind of pick off the the people who are out of position and just combat's about to get in a fight right here oh gets, he one. gets one can he get this oh oh yeah, gets a pair of kills won't get the third one of cats just that 20 hp can't really do much there Oh, Big round for Mary Washington. Those opening two kills were different in that in that round. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I think no, they can even this out to six six easily. As uh, we've already seen what they've shown rounds, it's just it's very it's a very back and forth round. Yeah. It's either kind of it's kind of like a get stomp or get stomped, or it's a very like right here. great and grind. You know, one v one round. But. I kind of prefer attacking on this on this map, if I'm being quite honest with you. Yeah. So this could be big. If the Monarchs can at least try to get five rounds before the half ends, oh, that would be a big boost. That's a nice hit right there. Great That'll man. be a big boost for them going into the second half, only being down by two rounds or not just being tied. Yeah. But if they can make it to at least five, they'll definitely have a chance in the second half to win it. Mm -hmm. We have to see, though. I mean, we still have three more rounds to play.
One thing I will say, I like how Katz used his ult to cut off uh, any A hit mm -hmm. immediately. Just kind of stopped him from even thinking about coming here. And now, if we send more people B, so it's not another 2v5, because I understand that they won it last time, but that is a very yeah, hard mid, feat though. to do. Chamber and Cypher are both mid. Half Faith is going to get into a gunfight oh. against Bob Girl can't commit on that shot. It was Might so be bold. dead. Yep, oh. with the Vulnerable is dead. And Half Faith also goes down to... Cats, you could oh. leave. Yep, planted. there goes Niche. I think they might just want to see. Oh. He saw him, tried to take a shot, misses just it, unfortunate. Too late. I think they're just going to play to save. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And as we go into the later stages of this half, yeah. you got to have a strong... You gotta have a strong finish to this half before we switch sides. Definitely. Definitely has to, uh, not only that, but has to definitely go into the next round with all the momentum, thinking that they can at least win. Because after losing, I believe, was it seven rounds in a row? It was, uh, it was, it was six rounds in a row. Six rounds in a row. After losing six in a row. Oh, never mind. After losing five in a row, winning one, and then now. Oh, yeah, yeah you're right, you're right. It's 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 not all yet. It's not all over yet. We yeah. st it's still a four round disadvantage, but you just gotta try to figure out a way mm -hmm. to win these last two rounds here, with any way possible. With already being down, in, in econ. Maybe seven five is what you're looking for here for Old Dominion to get over five, to the next half. Or if you really believe in it, nine three. But <laughs> standing ahead. Let's see what Mary Washington wants to do here. They're putting three members of their team out in mid at the moment here. They're positioning like they want to hit A through mid, and I yes. think that's what they're going to do as they're already walking in here. Oh, There's great kill, shot though. from Super High Girl. That was a big opening kill. And now, get a second one here. it seems like it's, they're pushing them away. Yeah, and that's kind of telling them to don't hit this side. It's not going to work. But I would have liked to see. Silva make a play at mid at the at oh, that geez, chance, but he's just making a rotation see. over. Doesn't get hit by the shock dart though. And now, come on, I need this round. Yeah. And hits one. And now they won't be able to put that viper wall up. That's very good for the monarchs. For eight seconds, I mean. Combat's going to try to help Nice on his left here, but I I would Man. hope that Nice will continue to watch that angle. One thing I really wish is that GT would move. I need him to work. Oh, yes. Who? Okay, wait. He dies from one right click, and he's still he's still at full health. Nice is about to get in the gunfire right here. Zipper gets oh, that kill. He won't Zipper get both. The, he won't get that kill on Zipper. Oh, no. I need, yeah, one thing is I feel like Cat should have rotated a lot earlier because now, just now rotating doesn't really mean much. It could have been a 5v4, but uh, I don't know. Might be all she wrote for this round. Yeah, just kind of working out behind him. Maybe even saving the gun, as I don't know how much econ they actually have. Right now. Probably just kind of catching the uh, stragglers. They might catch this viper. Yep, or the chamber. He'll, he'll or might catch two. These. One. I mean, they're just going to both die. Oh. Wow. Come on. <laughs> Last round before the switch. All right, so got to go all, all out in this round, basically, essentially, just because this is your last round before we switch sides. Mm -hmm. The Monarchs. They are at a disadvantage on this map at the moment here. They've not had a good first half here on Breeze, but they can definitely make a run at it in the second half. they got to try to get the four here. I know yeah. you'd like to see the 9-3, but I would, uh, I'd feel uh, better seeing an 8-4 than 9-3. Definitely feel better seeing an 8-4. But now with the switch up, we have had Faith going on uh, A side this time instead of B, as uh, he was normally setting up B. I would like to see a little bit more aggression on this Monarch's defense. 
in terms yeah. of trying to hit them from the flank and like pinching them because they really haven't done that they really just trying to been they've been trying to make the rotations over the site and just try to win off the gunfights there but they really haven't utilized that pinching tactic which mm -hmm. you've seen do very well in the series so far on both ends in both games so far oh great good smoking or good orb and snake fight to way. stop them from walking in but i believe that's our all uh, super hot girl and you still have KO and Cypher all online. Robo's the Jets altered. So. No kills to account for yet. Being very patient about their attack, Mary Washington wants to make sure they end this half on the right note. Meanwhile, the Monarchs trying to find some rhythm going into oh, the second half. But I think they're. I think. Uh, oh no! And Nice gets caught. Thirty nice seconds caught left. As I believe. Oh, Super Hot Girls gets one. There's another oh, one. Oh, Half Faith gets one. Oh, but death gets. They oh. traded off. It was a pair of trades on both sides, but you can see the bomb's gonna get planted right here. It's still, it's still winnable. It's a two v three situation. They just need to make this even at two apiece. Bomb's been planted. Ahead. And you can see combat gonna utilize oh, the recon. And you won. And Man, just not the half that you would have hoped for, especially with the start Old Dominion had in that first half. They mm -hmm. just kind of falling apart a little bit, and you see Super Hot Girl leading the way with 12 kills. Half Faith on the verge of getting into double digits. Cats and Combat both tied at six. Yeah. And Nish with his two kills at the moment here. So on the opposite end, you have three players in double digits, and you only have one player for the Monarchs in double digits. So. A little bit of a difference, but not too much of a difference. Kills have been pretty even. It's just been situations that Mary Washington has just been much better at rather than the Monarchs. They just haven't been able to capitalize on some certain situations. And they're down by six rounds here. So let's see what they can do here attacking-wise. It's not all over yet. But they got a lot of ground to cover if they want to make this one interesting. Uh, Super Hot Girl gets spotted by that recon dart. I have the spike. Mm. ODU being very patient about what oh, they want to do here. Combat! Okay. This is a very, very, very interesting uh, rotate here. It'll work though because they, they haven't given off any info. They have not given off any info. All it's going to take is one. Oh, put Nobody. up the wall. Now. Uh oh. Yep. Time to top next. Zipper is going to know, and he's going to TP out. Oh, a very short knife. Hit somebody with it, but now they can't enter. As the Viper Orb goes up. Super Hot Girls down to 5 HP. Oh, Super Hot Girls. He's going to get caught from that chamber, unfortunately. Oh, now. Slow decayed. Gets one. Now, back up to... Everybody back up to 100 HP. Even, even playing ground for uh, Old Dominion. Now just playing this back side of the wall. You just gotta hope that you guys can hold very well. Max is destroyed. Niche, 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 niche. You're getting pushed. Oh, nice. 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 3v1 for ODU. That's a good start. And GG Cats cleans up. I believe gets two there. And I think Combat got two as well. Very good play from them. So yep. Half Faith is now in double digits right there. Cats gets too close right there with his kills. So He's got big one. round. Yeah. Very big round. Taking momentum and, you know, we can see them buying as, uh, I think. Caster stay on niche, please. <laughs> <laughs> that is not in our control. That is production team behind the scenes. But we will do our best to maintain the site on all the action. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still a big start here for oh. ODU second half. Let's see if they can try to build a little bit more mem momentum here and try to get back-to-back -back game, uh, back-to-back -back rounds, I should say. Looks like the push might be over to A. It's going to come down to these opening picks. We're going to have to see if Combat and Super Hot Girl can get something going for the Monarchs here. They're getting in. Super Hot Girl oh, has... Look at them. Oh, dear. Oh, GT Cats is up. Getting the pick. He gets the bulldog kill. 
Here comes Dash. The dash. Is now, if we can get a bomb plant right here, that'd be big. Yeah, but I don't think anybody else can cross. If you see yep. on the map, they're, they're just getting watching. locked down from yeah. mid right there. Now, if we can see some and Zipper gets a kill right there, unfortunately. So. Viper wall goes up at the moment here. Here comes the bomb being planted. Combat, I like that. 45 to play. Oh, There's a kill. Nish gets one. King Nish gets the second one. He does. Nish. And now Can he get the third one. Nish gets two. With the spray. Be patient. You just got to be patient in this situation. Let him come out. Yeah. And I believe two out of our three players have mollies to, to control the space. And so we're trying to use the recon. He'll get the recon off, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Nish is right there. Nish gets That's a three bomb. Great. There we go. Now. So it starts to the second half for the Monarchs back-to-back -back round wins and they have made it go from a six round deficit to a four round deficit so one round at a time it could get very interesting here but good start here very good start as 40 people watching we love to Ooh. see that okay. we saw it was like around 30 earlier but we appreciate everybody tuning into the stream thanks for the 40 people watching I know it's a very very Let's very intense game we hope it's as entertaining as it is for us to cast it here. As it is for you to watch it. But. Gonna see Super Hot Girl working up mid here. He's been having a game. I mean, when hasn't he had been yep. having a game, honestly? Very, very consistent player. Always being on the top of that leaderboard, but might be able to get an angle on this sofa, I believe. But this always jump peeking. It won't peek. Just yet. They're gonna be pause. They're gonna be patient about this. Oh. Trying to figure that out. Super hot girl gets shot from mid, but still nothing. They're choosing not to to commit to anything here. Still, but a minute left. Old Dominion is gonna have to choose to go somewhere soon. I, I could I could only tell by from what I heard. Apparently, uh. <laughs> We can hear the comms yeah. a little bit coming out of the arena here. Uh, apparently, uh, has uh, have faith has uh, dinked the cipher, but even then, we still a, have a little bit of time left. Thirty seconds to play, no kills yet. This has been a very slow round. Yeah. Monarchs need to figure something out oh, here. Super hard girl goes down. They're gonna try to make their push. They're gonna try oh, to Nish open gets up on one. B. Diamond. Spike down mid. Cipher's gonna try to use have the util. He'll get the kill. Nice. GT gets uh Jet. Now they have to they have to go. They're going back to A. Oh, do they have time? You've got to get on and plant it. Somebody has to plant. The other person has to kill. Uh he has to kill. He has to kill. He has to kill her. Nice. nice. Oh my goodness. Big play for the monarchs Big. there. They get the bomb planted just in time. It was only a second left on the clock, and it's now a 3v1. Very big play from Niche. Being able to confirm the kill there. Wow. A lot of our players are actually low health. Just got to be patient here. Just got to be patient. While the Cypher's also half health. Cypher might not commit for this. Choosing to save. I think he may be saving for this. So the Monarchs so it looks like. win three straight here. Yeah. Right. He is going to save. So three straight wins for the Monarchs to start off the second half have brought them within three rounds. Mm -hmm. It was 9-3 to three when we switched over. It is now going to be 9-6. to six. So... Still some ground to cover. Still some ground to cover. There's still some ground to cover, but this is definitely the start that they wanted. I would not be surprised to see, see a timeout. timeout. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say that. I would not be surprised to see a timeout come from Mary Washington very soon here. If the Monarchs get it. Yep. There we go. So I was right about that. We are going to get the timeout out of Mary Washington there. And that's a much needed timeout. The Monarchs, they have the momentum yeah. on their side. They're doing very well. And this is big. This is big. We're in for a very entertaining finish here because I think ODU is starting to find the rhythm attacking wise. And they haven't given up around yet here on the second half. So it could be very interesting how things play out here. With momentum like that, that's very that's something you want to see. Now, I understand I was preaching the nine three curse. Yeah. Seems like it's coming true. <laughs> but I don't want to count my eggs too early. Gotta to knock on wood right yeah, now. I'm if we tie it up at nine apiece, then we can start talking about that. But, but. we're still three rounds deep. We still got to find a way to get those few rounds back. But still, this is definitely a stepping stone towards the right direction. Mm. So we're going to have to see how things are going to play out here. I mean, this timeout, we're being told timeout's about to be gone in just a moment here. But mm -hmm. is there anything in specific you want to see out of the Monarchs coming out more from this game? Um, oh, one thing I do want to see a lot. 
I do want to see a lot more like lurking. Yes, that, I, that's, I feel like that's one thing that I've seen. I don't Mary think Mary Washington, Washington is prepared for that. That's the thing. Not like, at all. Like Old Dominion has not even tried to lurk that much, and I feel like if they could do it right now, it would really catch this Mary, uh, Mary Washington team off guard. And yeah. I don't think they can overcome that. But we're gonna have to see. I mean, half as they're working up. Ac or sorry, sorry, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, 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 we're good. Mary Washington uh, actually working up kind of fast on ODU here, and I don't think they half have two in that knows. tunnel. Half Faith is about to get an action second. right here. Half Faith has to back up here. He knows that Viper is being aggressive. He's going to try to get that window angle. Won't be able to get to it in time. Viper backs away. And you can see that Mary Washington, they got a little aggressive there to start off with that round. But they're going to back off just a tad. And I think they're going to rotate over to A. So That would be a great call for ODU to call back B, actually. As it seems like they're going through mid, which is a little risky as... Uh, I believe it's Diamond on um, Mary Washington, who's watching that mid for for them. Or not Diamond, Death. My bad. That's the Viper. Yep. Yeah. And, oh, yes. They're electing to go back B after. you got to be quick about this, though. Literally, the no jet. one's on the site. You as soon as Jet and Silva coming back. Yeah, as soon as GC Cats walls left. this, they should immediately hit. If they can just get these two kills right here on Jet and Sova, that it's would the wall be down. Big. Now, yeah, like I said, they immediately hit as soon as they get that wall down. Get it down, get it down. That's what you need. Shoot through the play. Shoot through the Viper wall. Here comes the plan. Shoot the play. Oh nice. my goodness! Half Faith is playing lights out right now. My goodness, that's a big kill. Oh. Can he get the plan down? Can he get a plan down? He, he will. Does. All right, 4v4 situation. Bomb has been planted. Let's we'll see if the Monarchs can win another round here. Oh, GT Cats 2 oh. sit in that. That's not the. Unfortunately, they saw him, but now have faith. And have faith, Super Hot Girl, and I believe Combat Winger. Oh. Super Hot Girl gets one back, but won't be able to get the second. So, unfortunate. Mary Washington will be able to get the overtake and they'll be able to win this round. So. Mm -hmm. I, feel like, I feel like they got a little. A little jittery on that swing there at the end. Half Faith definitely missed the shots in that situation right there. Very That's unfortunate. unfortunate. Man, that was, that was very unfortunate. I could see that if maybe if they could control, or maybe if uh, Half Faith could have controlled the recoil just a little bit more, that they were able to probably get that kill, get those uh, kills. But even here, I mean, we see Half Faith, Super High Girls tied at 13 at the top of the leaderboard with the GT Cats following close behind them at 11. Yeah. I mean, Nisha's right there on the verge of getting double digits. Combat still with the six, but still seven assists out of Nish to talk about, too. I mean, yeah. Nish is doing the dirty work for sure, but he is starting to come back a little bit in kills. But after winning three straight rounds, the Monarchs give up that first round of the second half. Let's see what they can do to try to get that momentum back and make this a three round deficit once again. And as, as we can see on the map right They're there. They're being very aggressive oh, through very, mid right very now. Very, aggressive. Here now, we go. Just walking up kind of fast. Zipper kills Hot Girls. Nish kills another. They can catch this Viper right here. They've got to catch this Viper. Oh, they don't. Death and, or Death and Saturn end up killing players. Now, Saturn. Unfortunate. They just had no idea what was going on yeah. in that situation. And Mary Washington, they get back-to-back -back wins, and now they're only two two rounds away uh. from a victory in this game. And you can see the timeout being utilized from Veer himself. He's going to call the timeout after that recent Dang. timeout from Mary Washington. So that was a really good timeout from Mary Washington from the last time we were on the screen here. That was a good timeout. Mm -hmm. They call the timeout after the Monarchs went three straight. And they come back, and they win back-to-back -back rounds. And they didn't win those rounds in just, like, um, they didn't slightly win those rounds. They won those rounds pretty decisively. They only yeah. give up one life in that last round. So, unfortunate, but Monarchs, they call a timeout here. The last time they called a timeout was in game two, and they went on a run to end that game two. So, we hope that Veer can coach this team up to the best of his abilities and try to get them on path for a big comeback run here. But still, two rounds away from a victory from Mary Washington is all they need, and they will win the series tonight in the Monarchs. They would possibly fall down to two and uh, two and two, two in the season. So, yeah. Hopefully that's not the case. We'll hopefully can see a big fight from ODU in the later stages of this game. But it looks like that we are getting ready to jump right back into things. So, 
We're going to have to see how things are going to play out. It's 11-6 in favor of Mary Washington. Monarchs, they had the advantage early on with a 2-0 lead. They give up five rounds straight. And Mary Washington has not looked back since. But, Mary, uh, but Old Dominion, they are calling back just a tad bit here. They just need to take it one round at a time and see what they can do in the later stages of this game. They had a solid uh, run in the later stages of game one and in the second game. So we'll see how things play out. Seems like they're choosing to actually take a different round here. Zipper gets Zipper one. Kill, my goodness. But they don't know that. Oh, oh never mind. They do know. He's there. Oh, but nice. Super Hot Girls kills, kills Zipper. But he answers back. Gets one. Gets two. Nice. Bomb very has great, been planted too. Very great call to not overheat. Gets three. Oh, my, oh my goodness. God. Have faith. You got to have faith in Logan, have my goodness. Have some faith. Wait a moment. All the timing. Oh, my God. Wait. Just hold your cross. Yes! Oh, my goodness. What a Let's four bomb go. from half faith. What a, oh, my goodness. Put that one in a montage. Put it in a montage for him. I'll make it. Wow. Wow. That looked like a round that Mary Washington was on the bound of winning to get on yeah. match point. But half faith. Putting the team on his back in that round. He gets a four bomb and they win the round. Wow. What a round that was from Logan. What what a round from Logan. And you see that uh this cipher is able to able to put some pressure and, and shoot some heads as well as, you know, control some space and, you know, get some info. So, you know it's just it seems like what can't this guy do almost? This is nerve-wracking. This very, is a good game. Like, very. overall, like, I really want to see ODU win this game, but they've had their hands full with this team overall all series long. That Super Hot Girl could have been caught right there. Yeah. I don't think that Silva knows, though. He will know now. Yes, knows now. Like, ODU is gonna work their way to A. You cannot make mistakes here. There's zero room for it. As they don't see anything on the on the cam yet, but I believe Nish is probably gonna start the engage with his all. Yep. Here comes the wall. There go. Takes out the takes out the cipher cam and the trip wires. He's gonna throw it out. He's be able to throw the thing. And now they, they get, get on a plant. They there get we a go. Very very free plant here. Ooh, uh, combat winner goes down. down. Love that. I don't even know from where actually. He's got to get this plant down. He gets it down. He gets it down. <laughs> able to get it down, but gets caught in the process. Cypher gets now they just kind of have to play this post plant. They just have faith. Gets one. Oh, Ooh, so nice. Go. And have faith gets another. Logan is just on one. Oh my god. Oh my god, <gasps> super hot. It's super hot girl with a beautiful position. Just hold position. Please turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh my god. Turn this is nerve wracking. <laughs> <laughs> There's Logan. Please. Logan's coming up too. Oh my god, turn around. Yes. Yes. There it is. Can't Last finish one. it. And nice. the GT Cat finishes it. Oh my great play from them. Oh my goodness. Logan once again coming in very clutch. Super hot girl swinging out of the wall. Wow. Man. And just like that, ODU takes the momentum back. After that timeout, once again, I don't know what Veer said to him, but it must have been the most inspirational attack on Titan speech word. Uh, <laughs> of, oh it my was goodness. crazy. I'm actually watching that show right now. It's, That's my first oh, anime that I've gotten into. Once you you'll hey, you'll get to the part where you know what speech I'm talking about. My goodness. Ride my soldiers! My goodness. Woo! What a play Have from Logan. Logan is on something right now. Faith. Man. Man, oh man. That guy's on one. We're back to a three round deficit. Let's see what the Monarchs can do to try to make it a two round deficit. It looks like they're favoring B at the moment here, but they still have bombs still back at the very, like, at the very back by their spawns. Mm -hmm. So they haven't really committed to what site they want to go yet. They might be favoring B site, though. I would be very surprised if they aren't. As, uh, you can see Cypher and I believe it's Super Hot Girl. E or no, 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 it's not Super Hot Girl. It's uh, 
it's over. It's they're creeping huge. up though. Yeah. They could possibly catch that jet off guard. Uh, man, I can't remember his name. Winger. Yes, combat. Yeah. That's combat what it was. I, it was like on the tip of my tongue. We have the ultimate out though. Super Hot Girl could really put that ultimate to good use right here if they need to get on B side here. Now I'd be very. I wouldn't be surprised if they start off with combat winger ulting, trying to clear their space, because that viper orb is definitely not left. something you want to see. <laughs> Throw up that sight. Here we go. Actually, clear is only close. Ah, but they're vulnerable, and there goes half faith. The person who's been. That's a big person to take out of the equation right now. Cass is going to throw his poison. He's going to oh. get some hits with the poison. Oh, but it's an ult out. Okay, this is very good. Here we go with the plant. And Super Hot Girls gets one. Get the and he get the plant off, you got please. it. You got to. Ooh, he, he does. He does. We're good. And Here GG go. Cass gets another. Here we go. And now 4v3 situation 4v3. in favor for ODU. And with this with this Viper's Pit, it's oh, it's, it's really good. It's really good. Oh, and he dodges the shot guard. Now. Play around the poison orb and he GC Cat, super hot girl gets another. Kill zipper. Oh my gosh. But they're yeah, revealed. They get recon though. They revealed. Oh, oh nice niche kill. Niche gets one. There it's we go. Gets another. That's there three we on go. the board for him. That's three straight for ODU coming out of the timeout. They have cut it to a two round deficit. My goodness, what a game we're having here. Man. Man. I got a little worried. I'm not going to lie. Once once Logan got taken out of the equation, I got a little worried because Logan has been on fire in this game right now. Yeah. You need him to be in those end game situations. And him being taken out of the equation early on there made it worrisome. But it does not matter. Niche, Cats, and the rest of this team, they lock down. And Super they get girl. another round back. Super Hot Girl, too. You cannot forget about Super Hot Girl. That's our MVP of the series so far. Mm -hmm. And now... We're one round closer. That's all. You, it's all you want to see. Just one round closer. And it seems like. The you can't forget. Mary Washington goes to match point if they win another round here. Yeah. For those that are not familiar with Valorant, it's first to thirteen unless we get the twelve twelve overtime. One thing I will say is it seems like Mary Washington's actually choosing to play a little, a little like kind of lackadaisical on uh on the A side. They didn't really put. They didn't really send that many people there until now to where now they have around three. And no, and only one watching mid. I want to see a push back over to B. Yeah, I, I want to see the push back over there. I think that's the play, but it seems like they're actually they're calling, making a rotation over to A. So they're going to commit. A instead. It's been their bread and butter. I mean, you cannot. <laughs> yeah. You cannot go away from what works at the moment here, but you got to hope it continues to work here. Make sure. Oh, puts the wall up, and now here we go. We're about to have a big push. Thirty seconds left to play. They won. Pretty well. Faith gets one. Here comes the ultimate from Sova. Here comes the dash from Superhot. Oh, there Superhot is. gets him. There's a kill. Can he get a second one? Oh, he, he will get the third. second one. Oh, he almost gets the third. You got to get that bomb planted. They, they, oh, 100%. They got it. Niche able to plant the bomb for them. Here we go. 4v2 situation. Monarchs have the numbers. They just got to hold down the bomb, and it'll now, be a one-round game. Superhot girl has a beautiful position. I don't even think they know he's there. They don't. They actually don't know that half faith is right there either. Oh my goodness. Man. Oh, and what a great angle. Here we go. Oh, there he gets him. There's and the second and one. There, there he is. They GT don't give Cat. up any deaths in that situation either. They keep their loadouts except for one, I believe, was Combat Winger. But nonetheless, mm. another Somebody, round for the Monarchs. That's four straight. Four straight. Somebody could buy for him easily. They're, they've been winning so many rounds in a row that it doesn't matter. And the great thing is. Mary Washington doesn't have a timeout. Nope. They can't they stop. They already utilized it. They can't stop the momentum that they have right now. So, I mean. This is big. It's very big. If the Monarchs can tie it up at 11 apiece, it is anybody's game here. Because true. that momentum could ride them to a match point and potentially win it 13-11. But, 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 what? we got to win three more. We got to win gotta another win round. More. First. We got to win a couple more. Oh, oh we got wait. trades off of the We got to trade. That's good. That's very good. You take the Jet out of the equation. That Jet's had himself a pretty good game so far in this very Oh, but Zerp is right there. It's okay, though. It's all good. We've seen, we've seen situations like this before. ODU yeah. wins these. Oh, but they chose to put a close wall. Oh, no. Wow. Got caught from the poison right there, unfortunately. Very low. Oh, no. And now I feel like this round is just somewhat guaranteed for Mary Washington as... 
This is not something you want to see. Cypher alt comes out. You can see out. Sova's trying to pinch. Super hot girl definitely needs to save alt here for this last round. Or for the Sova next round. Sova was trying to pinch, but he's going to stay in his position at the moment here. And you can see the rest of his team is going to try to make their way <laughs> through a tunnel here. Mm -hmm. This is going to be very nerve-wracking. If they could possibly take Viper out of the equation uh, here. Yeah, I think they actually get the timing on the Viper. As long as they don't make any noise here. Oh, great smoke. But they, they had to run past it. They had the info. Left. Here comes Cypher. He's going to try to look. Oh, you got to kill the Viper there. Oh, wow. That's they great. lined up for Viper. Great shots from Death to, to kill both there. But now it's match point for Mary Washington. Point so for Mary Washington. ODU, they have to win these two rounds and nope. we will go to overtime. No alt on the table though. And if we win, Niche will have alt. Yeah. And super hot girls will at least have alt for at least this round. So well, ODU has to win these two rounds before it's overtime. Definitely has to win these two. And with Zipper, Zipper with an op in their hands, that's not something you want to You've got to get Zipper out of the equation. you got to take kill. the op out of his hands. He no. has the he's the leading man for, for Mary reason. Washington. And he's just utilized that chamber so efficiently throughout this series. ODU's got to find a way to win two rounds here. Let's see how they do it. Zipper, I think going down tunnels. Nope, mid. Now that's not what you do not want somebody to peek. The patience from both teams. They do yeah. not want to make a mistake here. A mistake could, could cost. cost them the series. I think they're still waiting to hit something. I like Wall this goes out they're, going I they're going back to B. Going back I love B. this. Very they still have two end. members Actually. over by A side. They need to commit to them pretty quickly. Wait, here they come. Logan, has a, Logan might have an angle on Zipper here. Zipper gets killed on combat, unfortunate. And there's Super Hot Girls gets, kills one. That's on Diamond. But Hefe kills Zipper. Oh, that's so good. The op is out of play right now. Unless, unless somebody else picks, picks it, it up. up. Yeah. But I haven't seen anybody shoot, his, shoot an op it's like Zipper. It's been Zipper the entire time that's been utilizing that, that oh, sniper. This is a good chance for ODU. And now, if they're able to win this round with no alts invested, all they need is... They'll have the ults for next round. They'll have the ults for next round. Have faith, playing long, long sight lines. Super There's Hot Girl gets kill. one. Has to, wait, 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 wait. What's that? What's that? You can nice. hear them out there, they're nice. very coordinated. There's another round. No deaths. Combat Winger dies first. You know, he's been a little bit of a sacrificial lamb for have faith here, but it's all good. As Mary oh Washington. <laughs> No alts coming into this match point round for them. It is do or die for the Monarchs. Wow. And they, ha and they have two alts on the board. Mary Washington wins the game with this round win. Old Dominion forces overtime if they win this round. I am standing up for this oh because goodness. this is exciting. Oh, my goodness. What a game this has been. What? You have half what a match. 24 kills. Super Hot Go, 23. What a match. G-Cats, 14. Niche, 11. Sure. Combat, you mentioned his sacrificial lamp, but... He is doing the part he needs to play to give this Monarch team a chance. And it seems like they're hitting a fast B here. Very surprising. It's going to come down to their early picks. Can they get the opening picks? It's, <gasps> they get one! Caught. Super Hot Girls is one! That's one. Can he get a second one? He still has the knives. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, just don't don't overheat. Just don't overheat here. You can't overheat here. Not in a situation like this. Not when it's... Not when it's Overtime point. Zipper gets one right back on Niche, though. It's a oh. 4v4 situation. Bomb's been planted, though. Half Faith kills Diamond. I know exactly. The bomb's been planted. And now the planted. all comes out. All comes out for Half Faith. They know exactly where Mary Washington is, but Death kills one. Half Faith is flanking behind. Combat Bringer gets Death. Oh my gosh, here it is. Half Faith kills there Zipper. There it is. It comes down to the last player. 3v1. It's a jet. Oh my gosh. There it now, is. Now all it is. Combat loses that gunfight. It's come down play, to the so two. Play for bomb. Play for bomb. You gotta play for bomb here. He's pushing cash. Yes, it's too late. There and we go. It gets three, and we're forcing a. <laughs> we are going to overtime. We're going to, we're going to we're freaking going overtime. To overtime. And overtime. monarchs bring it back from a situation where we are going. They should have. Overtime. They should have lost. I'm not gonna lie. Monarchs should have been I out. I can't believe we are going to OT right this now. This is not. I just can't believe that. Can we press tab real quick? I need to see the round count. 
we were on we went six and one six and one what a comeback Down this has been for old dominion Down. we go to overtime and for those that don't know overtime rules in win Valorant, two. you have to win by two rounds. We could be in here for, for a long for a time. very long time. If it is whoever can win by two. Super hot girls, or super hot girls. Old Dominion starting off on defense for OT. We are getting our hours worth for yeah. our, oh, we're getting our, our hours worth today. Oh, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. This has been a game. This is a, this is a, a great series. game. Oh my goodness. What a start. What a comeback this has been for the Monarch. There you got the opening pick. Half base with the kill. Diamond gets one right back on Super Hot Girl. That's on that's okay though. That's a good trade. But the Monarchs, they're gonna have to planted. defuse the bomb here. Uh, the spike has been planted. It's a 4v4 situation on B. The Can half. half base figure out a way to get some kills with two HP? Such low HP. And Mary Washington just holding every single angle known to man. Yeah, three players on B. And you have the member hanging out backside by the window. Can combat catch him lacking here? Probably not. As we got to check. Backing up. He gets the one, one back. Oh, it's still two v three. Still winnable. Cats is gonna Cats play here. from behind. He doesn't Mike know. Going for the defuse. No He's gotta go half. He's gotta go half. He's, He's gotta go half. Washington. No, they couldn't. They couldn't. All right, so it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Mary Washington. They finally get their first round win in quite a while. Switching but. Sides. You have to win by two. So if Mary Washington wins this round, it's over with. If Old Dominion wins this round, we're going. We're two playing more. another two rounds. We're going two more. Oh, come on, come on. We did not come back this far to Just lose a, right here. Nope. There's no way. That's we need to see all the half fates in the chat right now Again. because we need it now or never if the Monarchs are gonna make a comeback here. What a game this has been. What? Irregardless of the outcome of oh. it, this has been it seems like an entertaining wait, series. They're, play, they're going so aggressive. Have Faith has a has an angle on him. Get nice. two! Oh, he gets one! He only got one. He could have taken two out of that. Oh, I already said he gets two before he even got him. That was a big missed opportunity for Have Faith to get oh, multiple members. He, wait, wait, wait. If he took his time, he could definitely have gotten more. But, unfortunately... That, it is good, though. Jet is very low HP. Oh, but they get the pick on. That's another big That's pick. good. They have the it's man advantage. It's basically two and a half. It's a four to advantage. two and a half. They're coming through mid. Oh, okay. That gets combat, unfortunately. If combat could have killed one in that situation, that would have been so huge. But now, 3v3. GT puts the wall down, and nobody's on site. So they, it's technically a free site here. Here we go. It's going to come down to this right here. Oh. Can he get the bomb down? He's gonna get it. He's gonna get the bomb down. Oh, Here we go. But look, look at Nish. He's behind him. They don't know. Super Hot Girl could get that second goal or second kill, I should say. And now, Super Hot Girl's he inside just play on site. And now Nish, coming Nish is coming, from coming behind. behind Zipper. Coming behind Zipper. <gasps> and he dies. It's a two v two now. You just gotta hold down. Super Hot, check to your right, Super, please. Super Hot, check your check right. Check to your right. Check your right. The timing! The timing oh is right God. there! Wait, wait, wait! He doesn't get him! It comes down to okay, cat! Just play! Play slow! You have to play slow here. Yes! yes. You just got yes. Let's go! Let's go! Cats with a huge! Cats with a huge! Clutch. With an amazing clutch! Cats! Oh and we're going two more rounds! Cats! Oh you are a maniac. Cats, we're, we're getting you a timeout. Are an MVP. We are GG getting a timeout Cats. from Veer. Old Dominion is calling their second timeout. Now, okay, I, we need I to sit back down. We need to sit back down. But <laughs> okay. What? Since we went into overtime, each team gets a timeout back on their self. We're calling a timeout right now. But as you can tell from the cast's desk, we've been standing up ever since that comeback right here. But we're going two more rounds. Cats. Clutches oh it up goodness. with when the final two kills right there. When the chat reacts to that, oh, I need to see that. Oh, oh I need God. to see that. We have need to, faith, everybody. Have faith. There's two things in this world: is have faith and believe in GT Cats. <laughs> Those are two oh things. Oh my goodness, what a series this has been. We got the timeout at the moment here. We got a minute to cool down, but my goodness, we're going two more rounds. 
this is a, this is winner take all. This that, is winner take all. That is not a round that somebody should win. From the fact that Cats clutches up right there in that situation, I thought it was all but I done. I thought it was all but over. I thought it was all but done. But, but Cats is really him right now. Cats is Cats definitely has to be. Feeling Let me it. see that scoreboard real quick. Cats is in double digits for sure. Gotta be. Seventeen kills. 17. We love that for Cats. Niche is at twelve. Combat's on the verge of, of an eight. Bomb. Almost Half faith is 30? on a thirty bomb potentially. And their top frag is Zipper. You take Zipper out of the equation, you have a chance right here. That's all they need to do. That's all they need to worry about, taking Zipper out. But I don't know if we can tell. Niche working up very far, trying to kill this. Oh, my God. He's going to get Cypher. He's going to catch Cypher. Oh, my God. He, they don't know. They don't know. They Turn walk, around. They walk right past Niche. each other. Turn they around. Right past each other. Wait. Niche. Niche. Oh, my God. Oh, what's up? Three oh. What I just guess. happened? How did how how did Nish end up winning that? I don't know, but if that if we win the series, that's one kill to look back that's on. That's one And kill? Mary Washington is gonna be so regrettable oh, about that. Definitely. He got one though. He got Sova. Oh my god. Okay. Zipper kills half me. But combat when you're trades. We got trades. Trade. And he kills two. There we go. Let's go combat. It's your that's time Viper. to turn up. Zipper half HP. Killable, very killable. Get half, get half. Zipper Nisha died. Back. Zipper's dead. And I think, I think they get They'll the full defuse. And they kill him. They get the full defuse. And ODU We're one round away. on a match point. One round away from the ultimate match comeback point. of comebacks in game three of this series. It looked like all this? she wrote for the Monarchs, but they've come back forced overtime. The Monarchs need to take a deep breath right now and just think about all the things they've worked for and how hard they work just to get here. This this is the point where it comes in to where you need to you need to clutch up. It's right now. This is it right here. It's right now. This, this is, is right where you here. need to clutch up. If the Monarchs win this round, it is game over. ODU wins the series in they, dramatic fashion. If Mary Washington wins this round, we're going, we're two going more. to another two rounds. We're going two more. What can the Monarchs do to gain a victory right here? and round 28. Man, round 28. What a hard fought battle from both teams. Half hey, shout still out on both teams. 29. Shout out both teams. What They're both in the arena right now. Both like, in you the don't arena. understand. It is, it's 11-23. The web closes at 12. We need to, we need to read this we up. We need to skedaddle. My Man. goodness. What? They're being very patient about this. No kills to account for. Under a minute left to play. Can ODU win it right here? Oh. And they got the wall up at the moment here. They like it. There's another wall up. Oh, no. Wait, they need to watch the right. Combat winner needs to watch that. Right yes. here. Combat, you're him. Combat, you're him. Death you're him. Gets, death ah. gets two. Death gets three. Spike A trio down. of kills from Viper. It's still not over with yet. He's you have over. half faith and you have niche at left. the helm. Can they conjure up a 5v2 comeback? There's one. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. But still very doable. Still 20 seconds left. He's still such low health. I don't know. Standing. We're going to another two We're rounds. We're going to another two. We are going to round 29 and round 30 of this game three series match. Switching sides. Oh, Grab some time. snacks, folks. We might be oh, here a while. Oh, we might be here for quite a while. These teams God. are fighting to the bitter end to see that their team. Oh, you have to remember, if ODU wins this game, God. they go to the playoffs. They know exactly what this means to them. ODU clinches the MAEC playoffs if they win this game. They do. Even even if they don't, they still have a good chance of making playoffs. Chance. But winning this and clinching the playoffs, and especially in this fashion, how they've come back and made it a game, yeah. This would be the cherry on top, knowing that you clinched the playoffs, making a comeback like this. this is, but this they still need two more rounds. Super high girl, Plenty yeah. of game left here. With a great angle. Could maybe, could maybe get the three that, like, uh, like who do you call the guy? Oh, but they saw him. Oh, he got spotted. But he's still alive. He got smoked out. Super high girl's gonna try to get out of there. He Cut can't. It. He messed up the smoke. He went a little too light on that smoke right there. Now he didn't cover it up all the way. one. Oh. Bomb 
being planted as we speak. 5v3 situation in favor of Mary Washington. They look to take the lead once again here in overtime. Oh, he didn't kill him. Half faith didn't kill him. I he presume that was going to be a kill, but that was not the case. Zipper wins that gunfight. And Jeff wins his gunfight. Cats gets one back, but Cats will lose that one as well. So, we go to round number 30. Mary Washington, they can win the series in this round right here. Or we'll be seeing two more rounds. Two more. We could, we could see two more. We have to we see two more. We have to see two more. We have to see two more. We have to see two more. ODU is not going to lose game, this game. We need to see two more. As much as I want to go home. If we can get a look at both teams on the stage right now. We have to see two more. They're going through it. This is a grit and grind what's game. To show, what's to showcase what both teams are looking what? like right now on each end of the stage here before we get into it? Man. You have ODU locked ODU and loaded locked in our in. side. And then on the opposite end, you've got Mary, Mary Washington, Washington. Probably also locked in. But while I'd, love to, while I'd love to see our teams, I think we got to get back to the gameplay, unfortunately. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. I'm so sorry. Technical difficulties. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I should not we're have good. called for it. I should not have called for we're it. We're good. <laughs> Anyways, we're good. Mary Washington has 15. Old Dominion has 14. We see that the score bug's not there right there at the moment, but we are letting you know. ODU has to win this round to force two more rounds in overtime. ODU is the attacking team. And Diamond and gets one on the over with the girls. opening kill of this round. It's not, not great. My goodness. Here we go. Here comes the Utils. They could possibly get that player that's on the left side there. Oh, and Odin comes out. GT Not Cat. the Odin. <sighs> it's all down to GT Cats. He's done it before, but can he do it again? It's a 1v4. It's a 1v4. And probably going to get sprayed through, and that's that is it. As the Old Dominion Monarchs. They fall in a hard fall. fought overtime matchup. 13 14. I'm pretty sad right now. I thought we were about to see the comeback of comebacks, but yeah. they ha fall. Have ha faith with have the 30 bomb. 30 bomb. Faith. Super Hot Girl followed by with the 25 kills. G Cats was one off of a 20 bomb himself. Nice finishing with 14. And Combat, he finally made, made it in the double digits with his 10 kills. So, ODU, they fall to 2-2 two and two in MAEC. A hell of a series that was. I Man. excuse the language, but that Man. really needs to be stated. That was a wild game to cast. Probably one of my best... Probably oh, one of the best games of the entire the of the entire year that we've casted. Easily. If if we need a if we need a stream to get some clips from, this is it right it's here. It's that one. This is it right here. And I'm so thankful that both of us were here on the casting desk for that because no matter the outcome, all the props to Old Dominion for fighting back. They could have rolled over and let game three play out as it played out because it looked like Mary Washington was gonna be decisive with another victory there. But they locked in second half. Those timeouts. I don't know, like you mentioned, I don't know what Veer was spitting in those timeouts, but right. he was making sure that his team was locked in, and they definitely performed at a high level until the bitter end, unfortunately. So, they lose the series. They fall to 2-2 two two in MAEC. They do not clinch a playoff uh, berth just outright yet. just yet. They need a little bit of help now, but if they were to have won that game, they would have clinched it outright. So, we're going to have to see how things will play out, but nonetheless... This Valorant team, they deserve to be in a postseason. They deserve a shot at playoffs because, my goodness, the way to battle back in both of those games, just after, a heck of an effort. After a game like that, man, I just want to see them go far. Because i seeing more and more games like that against better and better teams because Mary Washington is definitely a great team. I feel like we can do that against yeah. even better teams. <sighs> wow. But that's unfortunate. That's so very unfortunate. We're going to take a short break here. We're going to see if we can get a member of Old Dominion <coughs> here onto the Castle's desk for a quick interview for a few minutes. But in the meantime, we hope you have enjoyed the stream. We hope you enjoyed the series overall as much as we enjoyed casting it. But we will be, got, we will be right back right after this break.
All right, and welcome back, folks. We are joined by the legend himself, Logan, as known as Have Faith. Heck of a series that was tonight. Unfortunate uh, events that happened at the end there, but give your overall assessment of how that thing played out. Yeah, we just we couldn't close out. I don't know. We've always had a problem with closing out matches uh, historically. We've always been, I don't know, either we've either been up high, like up a lot, or, you know, it's always just been us closing out matches. Yeah. I don't know if it comes down to the nerves or we're good, we're just jumping the gun a little bit. But, yeah, we, people, people doubt us, but I think we proved that we can at least do a little bit of something, you know? Yeah. I've already mentioned that. I've already told them that like, this Valorant team deserves a postseason uh, shot. You guys can definitely make some noise in playoffs. Even though that a win right there would have gotten you guys into playoffs for sure. Now you guys gonna have a need, you guys gonna need a little bit of help to get into the postseason. But overall, I mean, your performance, you were the MVP of this team throughout <laughs> that series. Can you just talk about how you guys come back in that series and game number three? So uh, I try my best to be a mental cheerleader to the team. So and usually it hurts my performance a little bit, but. We've been more composed. That's what we've been working on. Composure is a big thing for us. So now that I'm a little bit free from playing, you know, mental cheerleader, we can we can lock in. We have a lot of firepower here. Yeah. Any we have a bunch of X factors on our team. I think just the composure that we've been really working on has really helped us be better than what we used to be. Yeah. We were the only team to take a, t uh, a map off of our number one seed in our group. Yeah. In Nace. But we're still like number four in the group, so you know. You guys are definitely gonna make some noise as we progress into the season. But I, I need to ask this because we've been this has been on our minds for quite a bit. What the heck is Veer telling you guys in those timeouts when you guys just come out of the timeouts and you win three or four straight and you guys just come out with a vengeance? I mean, what is being talked what's being talked about in those timeouts and how you guys readjust? Yeah, so when you're actually playing, you a lot of things fall through the cracks on what you guys, what we see, because we're only one person. But mm -hmm. with Wyatt being able to see everything that is going on, he really does help us dial in the micro. So I, I think we're very good on the macro side of things, like the overall game plan, how we want to play the map. But it's really what we're losing to is the small things, yeah. like things that... I don't know, like a little little moments here, pieces pieces of util there. Like I think the last round we lost because uh, we just didn't clear one like one thing we didn't clear, and four of us died to the same guy. So you know. I think one thing that was kind of a, a standout for at least Mary Washington was the fact that they were lurking you guys pretty well, and the fact yeah. that you got they were flanking you guys. That was something that we talked about. I felt like that you guys needed to work on that, especially after game one, because in game one on Icebox they get they were lurking you guys quite well. But it seemed like you guys were starting to figure that out and starting to play off of that a little bit. But, I mean, overall, still a heck of a series. You guys put up a very entertaining show by the looks of chat. I mean, everybody's enjoying it. And everybody has <laughs> said that you are the future of this Old Dominion Valorant team. I mean, what do you got to say to comments like that? Uh, I don't know. Stay tuned. Uh, <laughs> I'm just a freshman. I'm here for at least another three and a half years. You yeah. Know? So I'll be here. Well... We appreciate you for giving us a heck of a performance individually, but also as a team. You guys gave us a very entertaining game. It looked like it was all she wrote in game three when you guys were down pretty heavy there, but you guys lock in in the second round, in the second half, I should say, and you guys force overtime at least. But I mean, still, great series. We'll have to see how things will transpire with you guys going forward. But other than that, that has been Logan, also known as Half Faith. We appreciate you for taking a few minutes of your time after that defeat, unfortunately, but we hope to see a lot more success with this Valorant team going forward. But other than that, we're going to be right back and we're going to be right back with the, these closing comments from me and Hash. So stay tuned.
Mm, Got to catch a breath after that. What a what a game. That's that's four hours. That was a great four hours. I know mm. we kind of talked about it a little bit that we didn't want this to be a long game, but, but I did say I wouldn't mind a long game as long as it's an entertaining one. And that, and was, that was exactly what we very got. Very entertaining. Like man. Wow. I really don't have any more comments about, I mean, the game itself. I mean, we talked about it with Logan. I'm so glad that they're not that down about it. Like, yeah. Logan seemed very positive about how things shaped out. I mean, the fact of the matter was, I mean, there's really nothing to hang your head about. Like, you guys battled oh, yeah. back so badly in that game three. You forced overtime. It's just a little mistakes, so like he mentioned in the interview. It's just little mistakes they need to work on. But overall, you got to have a lot of faith. And gotta have a lot of faith. Valorant team going forward. Gotta have faith. That's Woo. that's about it. And I feel yeah. like that's a hey, anytime we stream a Valorant and we see we see uh, Logan up next. That's all I'm gonna say. Hey, just have some faith yeah. because he showed today that he definitely definitely has it. And even even with just or not even just Logan but GT Cats coming in clutch with that yeah. last play combat was coming in clutch in a later part of that game too that too combat winger came in clutch at the very end niche coming I remember we were talking about lurks niche yeah. might be listening into the stream heard us talking about that lurking and he listened and then even then super hot girl staying very consistent ending each game with around 20 25 kills Super Hot Girl and Faith, they were the MVPs of the Very. series. I know I mentioned that Faith was the MVP of the series, but you got to give your props to Super Hot Girl, too. That was just to. a matter of the moment. They both were the MVP of this game, along with some very clutch plays from G Cats, from Niche, and from Combat Winger. I mean, overall, a solid team performance from the Monarchs overall, but they just got to find a way to get over that little hump yeah. and just become consistent with the little details. But overall, yeah. overall great heck game. of a series. I'm so glad that we were able to cast this one and be yeah. able to give you guys an entertaining stream. We know that you guys have mentioned in chat W casters and everything. It's not just us. It's, it's us. about the players. It's, it's about the program, the production team behind Produ the scenes. Hey, shout out production. Yes. They had to sit here with us for these four hours and endure us screaming into these mics. Oh, yeah. HG and Sam, you get all the props hey, in the world. The these props. guys are our W production team. Y'all deserve and it. We just try to give you guys the best ca uh, casting that we can. But other than that, that is our last stream for this week. That is it for ODU Esports for this week. But we do have a little bit of event going on right now this weekend as it'll be GalaxyCon in Richmond, Virginia, yeah! where HD and Sam, our producers of the stream, they will actually be taking part in this event where it'll be involving tournaments and different games like Rocket League, Call of Duty, Super Smash Brothers, Madden. We have a Madden player going to this tournament. Yeah. Like, I would love to get. I would love <laughs> to cast some Madden games, but we don't even have that for streams. Unfortunately, Byron, not. I hope you're watching. We Byron's need definitely more watching. We need more sports streams, please. Gotcha. For favor, we have to. Please. Anyways, other than that, we have GalaxyCon coming up. Mm -hmm. If you guys are following us on, on all of our socials at ODU Esports, you'll be able to tune in for all that. We may. I. W I don't want to say this just yet, but we may have awesome. a live stream. We may have a live stream coming from GalaxyCon himself, and we're gonna have to see how things will play out. But. Be sure to look at all of our socials on Twitter, on Instagram, on everything at ODU Esports. Be sure to follow us here on Twitch at ODU Esports for the latest coming out of our program because we have a lot of exciting things coming your way. But other than that, I have been your caster, Benjamin Draper. I have been your caster, Jane Gober. And we hope you have a wonderful Thursday night. We hope you get after it this weekend. And we hope that you guys will tune in to the rest of our GalaxyCon footage that we will be putting up on the socials. So other than that, have a great night. Great we'll night. see you guys in the next stream. Have some faith. Have faith. Have folks. faith. Have faith.